Welcome, friends, to a really stupid stream. I'm sorry. Who's this makeupless, ghostly woman? It's me, Jess O'Brien Voidberger. Um, and <laughs> behind me is a blue apology, and I want to cover <laughs> why there's a blue apology going on back here. When can we expect some news on the remake? Or is that up to Konami? It's kind of hard to be stuck in the fog for over a year with nothing new. Even some screenshots would be nice. Konami's the publisher of the game and communication is definitely part of their job. Bloomer, <laughs> oh my God. They are so funny. Bloomer team is like such an unintentional comedy dev. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Oh, I wanted to thank somebody that uh, subbed earlier. Evgenk, thank you for the sub. I missed it earlier. Oh my god. They have a comms person. It's this person. <laughs> They're bad at it. I, they, I do, mm? <laughs> Every time Bloober does anything, it's the funniest thing Bloober team's ever done, and they never intend to be funny, and it is just... Bless this mess. <laughs> I do so enjoy making butter. <laughs> thank you, Doc. Makeup stream. Stream. Thank you for, for <laughs> cheering for my makeup stream. But yes, I'm gonna put on makeup. That's why I don't have any on right now. But practically, uh, I have foundation on. But I'm, I'm not very good at makeup, which is great. But it's gonna be Silent Hill makeup, um, and the big one. What? Why is it this big? Do they normally come this big? I don't know anything about makeup palettes like i'm not a good girl i don't know a lot about makeup at all honestly b-l-o-o-b-e-r-i-n bloomerin thank you tanuki suit so continuing on with the bloober story here is like so that was four days ago four whole days ago or five whole days ago and and that um so far as i know is still up this this tweet of them being sassy and throwing their publisher under the bus for being uncommunicative is still up. Here's what's weird. I don't know if they know that they have a tone here and it's like, dog, I'm autistic and I can read a tone in here real easy that you're throwing these people under the bus, the people that give you money. That's so funny. Uh, but I could see that they're just like, matter of factly, like that's not our job. That's someone else's job. Not realizing that that's a fucked up thing to say publicly. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, okay, Weggy, Weggy confirming it's still up. Thank you, Weggy. Um, but yeah, that <laughs> led them to issue this blue apology back here. At Bloober Team, we're proud to be a part of Konami's plans for the Silent Hill franchise. A co alongside our partner, we are diligently working to ensure the Silent Hill 2 remake attains the highest quality. Thank you, Ixjuven. <laughs> I love picking berries and making jam. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there, folks. But yeah, on behalf of the development team, we would like to clarify that the production of, is progressing smoothly and in accordance with our schedule. We understand that many players around the world are eagerly anticipating news about the game, and we appreciate your dedication. However, we kindly ask for a bit more patience. <laughs> Once Konami, as the game's publisher, shares information, we're confident that the wait will be worthwhile. <laughs> Thank you, Dial the Dude. <laughs> Did you know that Silent Hill was inspired by Centralia, Pennsylvania? I'm coming for you. You watch your ass. <laughs> um, thank you for your understanding and support. Bloomer Team. It's so funny too, because like I saw somebody you know, tweet this, quote RT it, and be like, what is this for? What's this apology for? Why are they apologizing? The, the game doesn't have an announcement date. They're not delaying it. What are they apologizing for? So all they did was confuse people they didn't know already what was going on. Really blooming it up. I'm so glad that TTS knows how to say blooming. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, I immediately missed who that was. Video Cemetery. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, somebody was like, why did they put, um, confused why they posted this? And somebody linked them to my post of, you know, uh, this thing. <laughs> All they did was draw attention to them being bad at this more. It's so funny. Why did they keep doing this? Oh, Jesus Christ. 
thank you so much. I, again, immediately missed who that was. Forgive my ass. I've got too many things up here. <laughs> that was Doc Cynical. Thank you so much for the sub. Um, you know, if these people made less uh, upsetting <laughs> games, I, I would be a lot, uh, I would be taking a lot less joy in this. I don't know. Like, I feel, part of me feels bad, even though I don't like their games at all. Like, I feel bad they're this bad at it. 38 months? That's almost two years. Oh my God, Gertrude, thank you so much. That's so long. You're right, thank you so much. That's crazy. Um, holy shit. But yeah, it, yeah, it is rare to see a company step on so many rakes. Um, it's rare to see a so-called triple A game company make so many bizarre mistakes <laughs> social media wise. It's, it's like a uniquely European style of fucking up social media. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> y -A 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 -A. I know what you meant, Spider-Hyphen Man. You meant, yeah! <laughs> Which we'll get to because the other thing we're doing on this stream while I'm swatching and, and putting horrific makeup on my face is uh, commentating on Silent Hill Ascension, which uh, me making fun of it last night, two nights ago, got me a pretty big viral tweet out of it and a bunch of people crawling up my ass about Silent Hill lore without them knowing who... Do you have any idea who the fuck I am? <laughs> it was super funny. My timeline has been so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Boxing Cat. Oh my goodness. Bloober team gonna bloob. They gonna, they gonna bloob. They gonna bloob. Oh my god. What was funny is that like, so, you know, this guy like super duper condescended toward me and called me like a new fan and I was just like... LP'd the series for over 10 years. I'm in the credits of one of them. <laughs> like, I've interviewed like tons of people that have made the game. I'm not new! <laughs> Read my bio! <laughs> at all! <laughs> Tonicky, thank you. But yeah, I've hyper fixated on this property for way too much of my life to not pull rank. On the rare occasions I get to pull rank, what a treat! What a treat! Um, but yeah, that guy was weapons grade stupid and stubborn, so I didn't really talk to him much because he was just not willing to be wrong ever. He was warping reality to be, to consider themselves right. So I was just like, okay, I'm muting you. Like I tried twice to talk to him. I was like, mute, no, we're done here. <laughs> Glad to see this niche streamer checking out Silent Hill for the first time. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, dude could not take the L and it was so fucking funny. It was so, one, one, it's been many a year since I've dealt with somebody that like overtly against truth and <laughs> citations and references and everything. Thank you for the raid, Zito. Thank you so much. Welcome. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm new to Silent Hill. All of my fucking alerts are, a lot of my fucking alerts are from Silent Hill. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, let's, let's unbox one. Which one should I unbox? First of all, the big one or the Robbie the Rabbit one. These are real. These are not bootleg. These are <laughs> these are from Vampire Cosmetics and they are a legitimate collaboration. Silent Hill, Konami's been collaborating with really weird fashion-y brands, which like could work. Ish. I don't know. But these are my first makeup palettes ever. I don't own these. I don't do makeup. Thank you, Bray Bray. <laughs> oh my God, the font. Congrats on your cosmetics. Thank Silent you. Hill noob. Look at this ridiculous font. It's like Hot Topic font. I can't do it this way because the light's there. Oh, there's three, there's <laughs> lipsticks in this. I forgot there's lipsticks in this. Oh my God. <gasps> also, thank you so much, Food Court Druid. Everyone, please uh, watch my stupid fucking D&D podcast. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so exciting. Uh, it's it's gonna be gameplay. Wink. Silent Hill Ascension is not a game. Um, 
I bet, yeah, I bet Whitney got this. Whitney collects, she, she's like in the Guinness Book of World Records for the biggest like video game collection with her Silent Hill stuff. It's really incredible. I'm going to do the Ravi the Rabbit one first um, because it's smaller and I can like deal with it. Um, but yeah, before we start watching Ascension, I'll unbox this. This is what makes it uh, tax write-offable. <laughs> I did, I did buy this for like, let's do a stupid stream like this. Yeah, Whitney is a Silent Hill historian. She's also like one of the most positive Silent Hill fans possible. And even she is not on board with the shit that's been happening for many years. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, the online ceramic shirt. Oh my God, it's like a fancy LA like t-shirt company or something. Whoa. Um, makeup is magical, spelt with a K, because they're goth. Um, Vampire Cosmetics offers vegan, ethical, talc-free, and cruelty-free beauty products steeped in dark lore and academia. <laughs> I didn't know that was a niche that needed to be filled, but okay. We create product. Product. They spelled products wrong. They spelled products wrong. Is this a French way to spell products? I don't think they're French. It's a P R O D U I C T S. Products for the individual. Oh, wow, this is a really hard to read font. Individuals, mainstream brands leave behind. What? We believe you should be able to express yourself as you wish. Vampire Cosmetics gives you... Oh, wow, that looks like uh, the, the I and the V are so close together. It looks like an N, so it looks like G-N-E-S. Gives you the tools to define your aesthetic and begin your makeup adventure. Copyright Konami, digital entertainment. Academia. I don't know anything about vampire cosmetics or most cosmetics, um, but I did not know any academia was involved. But yes, we will check out the Cummy Tummy game soon. <laughs> oh, mm. it's him. It's him. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Oh, his little things, his bow ties getting green screened out. Just put him on top of the apology. Have it seep through. Yes, it's Robert the rabbit. Um, the same makeup as magical thing on the back. <laughs> A screen, two screenshots from the very first chunk of Silent Hill Three when she's having her nightmare. I don't know how to like show these off. I don't like watch these kinds of videos or anything. Plasticky thing. There's like a magnet in here that keeps it on. <laughs> I don't get this. Um, <laughs> why does the mirror say they look like monsters to you? Are you calling me an ugly monster? Is this a dream? Come on, camera, you can do it. You can check out my camera. Hello, that's you, stream. <laughs> I can't believe they're negging me out of the gates. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we've got later on, later in the game when you're on the uh, carousel, way after the dream sequence, way late in the game, and there's the palettes. It's close to the color that's showing up on screen. They have fucking have It's Bread, the newest, hottest meme in the Silent Hill fandom for, I don't know. Like, I can't believe they're acknowledging It's Bread. They're making it less funny by acknowledging it. And that makes me upset. <laughs> like, don't don't be a company, acknowledge the memes. Then you got Pink for Robbie. You've got uh, a kind of like maroony, like sort of fear. You've got Lakeside is white. You've got Dead, which is like a, Kind of like a shimmery brown. And then you've got dried blood, which is the reddest one. That is not the color of dried blood. That is legitimately not what it looks like. That is not even close to what dried blood looks like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they should have called the they should have called the one that says dead. They should have called that one rust, right? Right? They're, mm, they could have done so much better. Uh, yeah, just switch dead and dried blood and then it's accurate, right? 
I know. They're going to make Minmo a thing any day now. I'm surprised they've, they've not because of all this shit. Anyway. <laughs> its bread is not going to show up on my ass because I'm white as fuck. Yeah, hardly. It's basically a foundation color. But that ain't going to happen for me. I'm too white. And... Guess what? The Robbie one? It's fucking pink. <laughs> Whoa. Crazy. Um. Fear. I, did, I don't really feel like these go together very well, do they? I'm skipping to Lakeside because the white is going to get, like, fucked up. Oh, the white doesn't stay on so good. It's more of a silver? What the fuck? Not, like, very big coverage on this. Gotta, like, really layer this on. This is more of, like, a shimmery... Like, a subtle... Eh. Can't even see it! Your bitch is too white! <laughs> Let's see if dried blood looks better when you put it on. No, it doesn't. Ew! Thank you, Rodrigo. <laughs> That's a nasty red! I don't like that. It's, like, very orangey. It's an orangey red. Why is it so orange? And then dead. Ew. Ew. It's like a coppery. Ew. This should just be called rust. This is rust colored. There they are. Mm. <laughs> is it makeup for fake wounds F bitch i wonder because the other palettes in this in the other box like some of them have like like the purples and greens that you see in like stage makeup so part of me is just like oh well maybe this has a use for like stage makeup stuff and like bruising and like halloween makeup but this one not so much pretty weird but yeah now put it on vivi he's not here right now um, but yeah, let's watch some Silent Hill Ascension, and I'll put some of this shit on my face in the meanwhile. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Here it is. If you don't know, and I'll put a timestamp here for when I actually start watching Ascension. If you don't know what Ascension is, good for you. You don't need to know what Ascension is. Um, it's a... What if a choose your own adventure, like Telltale style game was less of a game and you didn't get to actually choose what you got to do unless you paid a lot of money for influence points to do it? Basically, everybody is. Everybody gets to vote, but it's based on how much fake currency you have. So really, your vote doesn't matter. And it was absolutely positively an NFT scam before even Konami wised up and was just like, people seem to not like this. Maybe it shouldn't be an NFT thing. I don't know. Um, so that's the update on that. And like, it is very clearly to me, very clearly, not just an NFT scam, which obviously, obviously it was. It is so clearly written by AI. It's ridiculous. Like, I cannot believe that a human being wrote this. There's no fucking way. I, I feel better kin kindredship with humanity and i think the best of it which is why i refuse to believe a human being wrote this this is beyond dog shit because like you'll notice this watching th this stuff that we're gonna play here is there are some like bits that were clearly some human being touched them to correct things a little bit or put proper nouns in it or something like that there's a lot of proper nouns in this bitch but like, there's certain throwaway conversations and throwaway... I mean, the whole thing is throwaway, but... The, <laughs> there's certain conversations between characters that are just so... A weird, backy-forthy that sounds like one of those, like... Yeah, learn, to re learn to speak Spanish, like, sort of conversations where it's like... Where is the library? The other person just goes... I go there on Wednesdays and doesn't answer the question they asked, you know, like stuff like that. It's very strange. And it's not like, it's not uncanny in an intentional way. And if it's supposed to be, that's sad. Um, oops. 
but yeah, this is the first episode. This is Silent Hill Ascension episode one. First thing you see is this in, in this thing. Tell me if it's uh, too loud or what. I'm going to try to put some garbage on my face. <laughs> I love that they start with this like very clear reference to um, the... Uh, I think it's a clear reference to um, Until Dawn in the Dark Pictures anthology because Konami stole this idea from Supermassive. Like, I'm absolutely fucking sure of it. <laughs> Rumor has it that they absolutely went to Konami hereditary um, with a pitch for Silent Hill and they went no and then they made little hope out of the pitch <laughs> will it hurt yes it's Silent yes. Hill of course it will but this is how we become free joy truly free from all the ugliness inside us that's why you came to us to me. Okay. I'm ready, Rachel. Good. Now say the words. I'll do it with you. I am blighted. blighted. I am blighted. My, My words are woe. My deeds, My deeds are rot. But, but, I, am but I am not lost. By, My, by hallowed blade affliction. 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 I, I am made pure. pure. I know it hurts. They reused a location from another game you worked on? The Laundry from Arcade Paradise. I had a feeling some of these backgrounds are from something else. They're a little too detailed to be for something that's cheap. You didn't respond to our other therapies. What therapy? This is the only way. Rachel, I appreciate everything the foundation... Pausing right here. This Lady Joy, she, her, her problem is that she's a drug addict, I think. And... Later on, you'll notice everybody talking about how, like, Joy found hope in the foundation. She was getting better. But here in this first scene, it's just like none of the other therapies have worked, which, like, goes against things that are later established because you'll notice the AI can't keep track of actual plot details like that. That's what I think is going on there. What you've done for me, but I, I can't. You have to stay and finish the oath. I know you're scared, but... Rachel, let go of me. You can't keep running from this. The blight has to be cut out or it's spread. The blight. Let go. This isn't just about you. You have to finish the- Get the hell away from me. Ooh, I'm so white over here from my Rachel. makeup mirror. What did you do, Joy? I didn't... You fucked up the ritual, girl. You girl, you fucked up the ritual. Make it stop. I'll do anything. You're about to get unbirthed by the purifier. Who is she? I don't know her, the purifier. Joy, you need to listen to me. Joy, finish the oath. Now! So, there was a vote here. Allegedly. Um... <laughs> I don't really believe a lot of the voting uh, being real, but there was a vote for like, what will Joy do? Complete the ritual? Run away? Some other option? As if the it wouldn't have done this. What's going to happen anyway? What's going to happen anyway is this bitch is going to get unbirthed by the purifier, regardless of what you choose. Free of sorrow. Free of hey, girl. This is what Silent Hill's about, apparently, now. No! <laughs> no! Unbirthed by the purifier. Unbirthed by the pure. Anyway, Norway. We're in Norway now. A place famously that doesn't have a Silent Hill in it. Oh, there's a character in this that pisses me off so bad. It's Orson. No luck today, little one. I think wolves scared away all the rabbits. Mama, he can hear you. So what if he can hear me? He's a useless little shit. Sitting around They're too loud! You should go play in the yard. Orson is incredibly, um... <laughs> Autism-coded? Autism in a really, <laughs> a really insulting way. Because we all know that... All autistics are young boys that like trains and rock their heads back and forth and go, everyone's too loud. Oh. 
Um, which is great. Yeah, trains and rocking. They gave him a fucking train. They gave him a fucking train. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You don't need to hear all this. I was mad that Cohen made my character like trains. I was just like, mm. You're on my shit list, kiddo. Get out. Get out. Come on, Orson. Time to go. You're not staying for dinner? She can say what she likes about me, but she needs to leave my son out of it. Stay. She gets cranky this time of day. She just needs her medicine. <sighs> You're always defending her. I'm all she has. She's sick and scared. That's all. You'll have to start standing up to her sometime, Papa. Huh? You can't keep... Are you back? Get up here, now! Well, go on. She's waiting. You cock. <laughs> go on, idiot. Your dumb, bitchy wife wants you. Ingrid? She's like wearing Mary's like Ingrid. pajamas. Like they're very similar. It's not the same pajamas, but they're mad similar. <laughs> Pain away, Max. Something's wrong. Nothing's wrong. You're just having another bad night. I can't breathe. Right back. I'll bring you water. <sighs> Who's calling? Meta? Oh, that fitter. No, it's not Meta. It's Astrid. Ah, lies. I'm not on my parents' health insurance anymore, Aww, and I work for myself doing... A you hate to hear it. So YouTube really changed shit up in a way that is incredibly obnoxious, and it, like, completely circumnavigates my ad blocker now. <sighs> so I gotta figure that out soon. I am playing Ellen Wake, too. It fucking kicks ass. <laughs> a healthcare ad from that scene. That is funny, actually. Shit. I had you block Origin, but it doesn't work with Chrome. Mmm... Everything. How Gotta change to a you. different browser. You're both waiting for this sickness to take me. Hey, Astrid. I'm sorry I upset Mama. Can you put her on the phone? Uh, she's quite tired. Should I come by again? I've got it handled. <laughs> handled? You've never had anything handled. I did everything for this family. I worked, I cooked. Remember Mary? <laughs> and what did I get for it? Did it. Ungrateful children, a useless husband, and this damn <laughs> this damn I'll vague disease. You'll do what you always done. Hide. You will lie to our daughters. Tell them it wasn't your fault. But they'll see through you. They'll see their father for what he is. A useless, filthy little coward. Nope. You'll tell them you loved me. Maybe they'll believe you, but then they will find out. They'll learn it was all a lie. You loved her. Always her. But she'll never love you back. No. <laughs> Who would ever love a yavel such as you? Only me. And look at what I get. This is Look at what I get. Cancer or something. It's your fault. Look at what I get. Wolves again. I'll need to take care of it. Yes. Go handle it. Go and hide, you coward. <coughs> Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, huh? Uh huh. I don't even have like the right tools for this. This is how like not into makeup I am. There is a very vague um, thing that this family has done in the past that made everyone hate them and they have not expounded on it and it's really annoying. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Look at this running animation. Incredible. Who are these guys? 
Just a light jog. Just take your time. Take your time. No hurry. So there are these um, bits of the game that are QTEs. They are so the game resembles a game more. And Marmalade, I'm sorry to break your heart. All of the parts that are QTEs are non-canon. They are not literally things that are happening. So you missed like the longer version of it, I think there, but. Ingrid? But sheesh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who'd have thought my I, my wife would die? <laughs> oh my god. This never happened. I tried. I'm sorry. It's like incredibly obvious that he didn't do it, by the way. <laughs> it's like super obvious. When are we going to ascend? Where are we going to ascend to? put my cat eyes on hopes junction pennsylvania welcome to the place next to centralia we can't get away from it silent hill is supposed to be in fucking maine <laughs> we really lost the thread on maine no! make it stop rachel please rachel rachel oh Whoa. Easy. you're okay you're safe is she where's joy the police took her am i the coroner believes it was an aneurysm. Natural causes. What about the wound? Rachel. Wasn't there a wound she had? What did you see? It was... I... I don't know how to describe it. I think it was the purifier. Was it human? Ropes? Or... More like vines they hung from it? Radcliffe, Chapter 7. The purifier came cloaked in roots and vines. This is a good thing. Yeah, I would have called them tentacles. Russell. I would have just gone for that. Joy was blight, and the purifier chose you to protect us before Safe it could spread. Or she's cursed. Thanks, Maxwell. How 74 you months. <gasps> you know her story. Everything she touches turns I love to the shit. Quiet man. <laughs> Maybe she didn't even see the purifier. Maybe it was the Do not say that name here. This isn't for us to decide. Rachel will testify before the elders. The elders? They'll hear your testimony and render a judgment. Xavier, what is there even to discuss? Okay, something that's really funny is that the elders are like younger than her, I think. Krista, enough. Krista's Rachel, the best character in this, honestly. The elders can help you, but you have to tell them the truth. Lies breed blight. Joy was blighted. I can't lose you too. But what if I'm not blessed or cursed or or blighted or what or purified or uh, You witnessed a miracle tonight. Uh, How could that be an accident? Now go home. Spend time with your family. Meditate on the teachings. I'm sure go home and be a family to. woman. So that was the purifier. That I'm birthed her. Ah, so this is the reused asset, huh? That someone mentioned earlier. Fun. Hey, you missed the mess. It's so funny. She's married to this guy who's not in the cult, and he's just like. Rich? She bosses Something him around wrong? so bad about this stuff. Joy. Anyway. She's gone. He is Pete Davidson, -y, isn't he? What? How do you think I did on this little, little experiment gone. here? And I couldn't do anything about it. Ah, oh, Rach. I'm so sorry. I only used two of them, though. I was helping her. It was I working. used Robbie and dried blood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how, uh, how did it happen? You know I can't tell you that. I literally found out today you you're supposed to wet beauty function. blenders before you use them. Well, Those the big sponges. These guys, you're supposed sister. to wet them before you use them. The That's how little I know about makeup. Left. The only thing I, I, uh, the only thing I'm good at is the eyeliner. It's worse for me. It's my COVID project Us. to get good at that. Rachel, what the hell happened tonight? I'll write a note and you'll take it to him. 
What I guess I should say? pair this with some one of the lipsticks. I don't know. A foundation prayer? It might bring in some comfort. A foundation prayer? I think Cody episode one was human written and then all the lot so they got more AI written as it went on. Wow, it's know, it's Mr. Reynolds is here. Right now, He's so realistic in this. We were helping her, and she believed we could help him too. It's what she'd want. Do its bread as the underline? Let me see. Doesn't pay well and it'll Let be me see how its bread worked costs. out here. Toby's proud. He might take it as an insult. Ow, sorry. Maybe I should just apologize. For what, Rach? For killing enjoy. somebody! <laughs> for her, okay? She killed somebody! <laughs> Look, whatever you decide, I'm behind you 100%. If he freaks out, I'll try to calm him down. And if he's satisfied, I'll tell him it was all If he freaks idea. out because his sister's dead! Oh, and I appreciate it. Just let me think on it, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey. The ammo. I have no idea why this guy loves her. She's awful. No redeeming quality. You know what? It's bread is good for my, my dark bags here. It's very similar color to the surrounding area of my eye. So maybe it's bread is not a total loss. <laughs> Why are you sitting in the dark? Papa, are you okay? I didn't get a good look at it. That thing that killed the goats ran to check on your mother. Papa, where's mama? I tried. I tried. I tried my best. <laughs> Diabolic, that's so cute. I need to talk to Grandpa. I also had someone do my makeup as a, as a teen, but it was because she wanted to see me looking like a Staten Island girl, so they, she oranged me, and I was unrecognizable. Papa, did something happen? It's Brad. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Should we ride the tractor today, Lilivan? <laughs> I'm like 99% sure she did it. Like the Astrid killed her mom. I think it's like too obvious that like he did it. Like Portion, it's like shut up. Angel, I don't think he don't, did. Don't come in here. Go back downstairs. Yeah, the obnoxious voting stuff ain't in the video. It's just the episodic content. How did it Papa? At the end of this episode, I'll unbox did this. You? Did you Papa? It's not my fault. I tried everything I could. I really did. I I took good care of her. <laughs> tried what? CPR? Imagine if it was Orson. I need to call an ambulance now. I already called them. I'll wait with Orson. Wiping off the palette here. Okay. Let's get the place looking presentable. Mama would kill me if we let them see it like this. <laughs> Telling lies, no, What's Papa. This? Oh, that's your mother's painkiller. Papa, she didn't take any injections. What did you give her? It's just. I was just trying to help. That's all. Paramedics are coming, Papa, and police. If they see this, what do you think they'll say? Just get rid of it. Papa. It's ivermectin. Is <laughs> I'd be incriminating myself. Then put it back where you found it. Maybe they won't even see it. Papa. Papa. Did you? No, Papa. Did you have something to do with Mama's death? If you want to turn it into them, so be it. <laughs> I would never hurt your mom. Jesus. Astrid. 
I think the ambulance is here. I should go downstairs. Oh, I forgot the first episode was so long. It's like 45 minutes long. Oh my God, we're only like halfway through it. Let's take a break to unbox the other one. Oh my God. Why has it got to be so long? Anyway, the second one has lipsticks in it. How does it open? Oh, there's like a hinge. Is it a hinge? Oh, it's open. Yeah, this way. It's creak. Wow, it's him. It's Pyramid Head. And he's individually wrapped too. And a bubble head nurse from Silent Hill 2. And we have Misty Day Remains of the Judgment over here in pretty high definition. It looks good. I think they AI yeah, upscaled it though, if I had to guess. It looks alright though, I'll say. No, I bet somebody retouched it. Mm, I don't know though. The hand looks weird. I don't know. I'm not sold. Um, and there's three lipsticks. One that's got a bubble head nurse on it. Like the classic, the, the classic illustration of it that you can find on the wiki and everywhere else. And then there's a pyramid head one, which is orangey. And we have a mannequin one, which is like a weird brownish one. Hmm. God, I can't get over the crazy font on the back. This is a wild, weird font. God, it's so big. What the hell? Okay, so we've got, so it's a mannequin on this side, and the other side is uh, just some of the bubblehead nurses from actually the second, the third game, isn't it? Oh no, wait, that's that's the second game. No, yeah, that's that's them from two. Um, how does it open? I thought I would. Am I too dumb? Oh, it, okay, it slides up. It's really stubborn. I'm scared it's gonna fling somewhere. Fucking Adam's family ass font. How, what, what am I doing wrong? The fuck? It's, it's open a little. <laughs> am I, what am I doing? It's still not rotating, so maybe I keep on prying it. I'm really scared. I'm gonna like get a wedge. Wedging with some tweezers. Yeah, lip stuck, yeah. What the hell? Makeup always like this? Is it always difficult? Okay, it's happening. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Uh, it is. Wow. I'm gonna like make sure there's like no residue on here from my fingers touching makeup. <laughs> Lipstick needs a key. A medallion to slot into it, right? So, look, I made progress. There's more. It's more open. It's more open now. Jesus Christ. <sighs> wedge, wedge, wedge. I need like a leather man to open this. I might have to BRB and get a leather man. It doesn't rotate, that's for sure. This is harder to open than some escape room puzzles I've worked on and dealt with. Fucking. <laughs> Yeah, how much, how many influence points do I need to unlock this? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the leather man. No, it's not my nickname for Chip. <laughs> it's very funny, but no, it's a tool. I'll be right back, a multi-tool. Okay, this stream is not sponsored by leather man. <laughs> also my favorite Silent Hill enemy. <laughs> This is a leather man. It's one of these things, if you don't know. 
got knives and stuff in there. It's a little Swiss Army knife thing. Hoping to like get it on either side and like wrench it up. Oh, oh, oh! Uh oh. <laughs> well, that's not great. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I don't think anyone was supposed to ever use this makeup. It's just for freak collectors that are just like, oh, well, it's too precious to... It's too precious to use, so... Like, also to iterate, I can to reiterate, I cannot rotate this. Like, there is... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, the, the lipstick's gonna, just gonna fall out at this point. Okay, oh my God, it finally happened. Wow. It was like so impossibly tight. Oh my God. Even if it did unscrew, I still had to like unlatch it, then unscrew it. Wow, insano. <laughs> insano. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. What the fuck one is this one? The mannequin one. Doesn't seem like there's a ton of product in here. Ew, it's just brown. I do so enjoy making butter. All that work for brown? This was more tense than anything we will see in Ascension. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I guess let's go back to the show and I'll put on the makeup and uh, it's going to take a while to get through this initial episode. The rest of them are five minutes long, so this is like unprecedented. Is there one that's like that'll match this better, though? I think this one with the pyramid head one. I'm going to try to... Now that I know how to do that, I'll take the pyramid head one out while we're watching the rest of this Ascension episode. Okay. What an effort. My God. Okay. Sheesh. Anyway, this guy is maybe the protagonist. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I know the secret now. I know the secret now. Maybe that one was just really hard. Would I recommend Silent Hill to someone that doesn't like old-fashioned controls? I guess no. I guess that might be a deal breaker for you. Might want to just watch a Let's Play at this point, honestly. Come on, come on. Don't do this, George. Okay, this one just unscrewed normal. I got the hardest one at first. <laughs> Greg Miller is the bartender. The Greg Miller. Last call, Toby. That's him. <laughs> Okay, I don't have any lip liner in my possession whatsoever. I probably should buy lip liner at some point. There's a really funny punch in this scene that looks like shit. It's great. Yeah. Need to talk to you. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Pulling my sister deeper into her goddamn cult, and it needs to stop. She's dead. Rachel? No. Just break it to him easy. <laughs> Rachel? <laughs> no, no. Joy's fine. Oh I just heard from her. I'm so sorry. I am. You need to know Rachel and I both really cared about Joy. You're serious. How did it happen? I. I'm not sure. Why hasn't like the morgue informed Dex of sure. Kin? This guy does. Oh my god, for real? What are you doing? I'm getting rid of Bad commercial. Rachel said it was some kind of accident. Wanted me to give you this. What the hell is this supposed to be? <laughs> it's a prayer for you. Great, thanks. From the foundation. Rachel thought it would bring you some I don't know. Comfort. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Hernandez? She said Joy would have wanted you to have it. Hey, take there it is. There what was. What the hell does Rachel know about what Joy wanted? It's okay. It's fine. We're friends. That's what I fucking think of a prayer from your wife's cult. 
He's right. He's right. He's right. Xavier? Krista? Hello? Is everything all right? It's fine. <laughs> more visions? The purifier has more to show you. The purifier! These visions are a gift. <sighs> they don't feel that way. Even Radcliffe so bad at lipstick, oh my god. It's just by the awful. Things he saw. But while others saw a monster, dogged. he saw salvation. Our order is not for the faint of heart. But I've never had to worry about that with you. I always knew there was something special about you, Rachel. And now the purifier has shown me I was right. The purifier! Something to share, Krista? What if you're wrong? Krista's what if you cool. See a monster? Krista's cool. Krista's cool. The pestilent. Xavier, you know why we came to this town. What we're here to do. Can we really risk everything on a... a feeling? Faith, Krista. And until now, my conviction was all I had to keep us, this whole damn town, safe. But now I have more than that. I immediately forgot the town's I name. Proof. Blessed? Cursed? I honestly don't know what I believe right now. But Joy is dead, and somehow I'm responsible. By the way, I just don't look good in lipstick, like, at all. <laughs> Joy's lack of faith was the true culprit. Don't let her doubts become yours. Hope's crossing, thank you. Joy's brother. Did you speak with him? Shush. <laughs> sent Eric to break the news. <laughs> what a dick. She sucks so bad. <laughs> and? He tore it up and punched Eric. And you were expecting a different response? I never know how much Toby hates time has passed between each Toby scene. Be dealt with Xavier. He'll only cause problems. Yeah, just like the Joker. Yes, I look I like know. the Joker. There's more. Eric's been asking questions. Can't you just put him in his place like you usually do? Yeah, Krista, preach. Eric is only an initiate. <laughs> like you usually do because you suck. But also unpredictable. That makes them dangerous. He's also my husband. You've always taught us that marriage is a temple built on trust. You are a blessed protector, Rachel. Called by the purifier. The purifier. Eric won't understand that. I'm gonna start doing this every time I hear a purifier. You'll have to figure out how to feel his questions without putting us at risk. And when I hear blight. Can you do this? I can try. Yeah. From here on out, I'm gonna try. To be continued tomorrow. Oh. Oh, finally. Are you not intrigued? Um, was that not like incredibly <laughs> interesting and you don't feel out of your depth and confused at all by these people or why you should care about them? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I am presuming big presumption that the foundation is an offshoot of the cult in Silent Hill, which was given the name The Order at a certain point in time. I forget when, honestly. Oh, here's the one of the quick times. These are hilarious. Um, I do not know how these plots will ever connect. I've watched all of it up until, you know, time of recording. N none of these are, are connecting at all. They're completely separate. Different countries. There's no cult in the Norway version, the Norway version of this plot. It's crazy. Um, I will say that I feel like the monster designs in this are adjacent to Silent Hill, they're almost there. Like, they're really close to almost there. They look a little, they're a little too on the nose, sort of. Um, especially the purifier. 
Pure Fire is definitely something I drew when I was 16 and thought I was making a cool Silent Hill monster, right? Um, but that being said, I feel like the monsters that they've come up with, like this guy here, they just put like the other monsters from Silent Hill into an AI generator thing and said, make a new monster. Oh, I hate these sad ones. These are sad. I don't want to see these things. Like seeing super depressing stuff. But like, I feel like they put like insane cancer into the, the, the algorithm and some other dudes and we're just like, make a new monster. Like they are derivative, but they have little touches to them where I'm just like, oh, I don't dislike that, but I can't help but see where the origins are of these things. That's not to say, you know, I'm completely aware that so many Silent Hill monsters have been that, have been recycled, uh, especially, most obviously, um, the uh, mandarins in Silent Hill 2 being recycled to be the closers in Silent Hill 3. Um, by the way, I just love these, um, if you look at these names down here, a lot of them are filler names. You can see Dahlia here. You can see uh, Cheryl and Sybil and Harry and stuff like that. So it's like, and that was happening live too. So you'd see these filler names that are clearly names from the games. They're not real people. And I don't trust that a lot of these votes are actually legitimately real. It would behoove them to fake the votes. And I don't think it's, um, you know, I don't think this company has the ethics uh, to not fake the votes anyway. Who cares, uh, you know? Make it look real. So many people would not care. No one's gonna notice. Thumbs on the scale. Jody even. Jody? Now that's that's a deep cut, Jody. <laughs> now here's some deep lore. <laughs> Jody, allegedly, was Harry Mason's wife. Now that's a deep cut. That's a real deep cut. <laughs> I saw a Jody in there, I think. Harry, Sybil, Jody, Jody, Michael, Michael Kaufman, Alessa, Gordon. Oh, Gordon is, oh, Gordon somebody. It's gonna bother me, it's gonna bother me. Gordon, 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 Gordon. Yeah, not Freeman, not Freeman. Gordon is definitely somebody. Gordon is the name of a street. K Gordon, thank you. K Gordon, the, the teacher. One of the teachers at the school, isn't it? K Gordon? You get the K Gordon key in, in Silent Hill 1. Lisa. Harry, Sybil, Cheryl, Alessa, Lisa, Michael, Dahlia, Michael, Gordon, Dahlia, Jody. I cannot believe they put Jody in there. That is a really deep cut. No one knows about Jody. I hardly know about Jody. I haven't read the novelization of Silent Hill 1. Who has? I don't know where to get that thing. I, I actually, I do like the dogs in this though. I think they look like the, the split head. They take like the split head dogs from like Silent Hill 3 and 4 and they go even further back and down and make it kind of like a flowery, like Audrey 2 big mandible thing. I think that's cool. Uh, these guys are very clearly inspired by the, um, oh, their names. I don't remember their names. The guys from Silent Hill 4, they're on the walls. They reach out for you. Also partially some guys from Downpour, but who cares about the guys from Downpour? <laughs> They're not wall masters, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> the little boy in the play novel. Oh, what was his name? I forget that guy's name. I, de I played the play novel, I don't remember that guy. Andy, Andy! Diabolic, what's up? Another deep cut. Like, I almost like, I almost like those guys. I almost like them. It's just like, why are they in this? These could be functional bad guys in some homecoming-esque Silent Hill game. 
And if you know about me, I actually like homecoming because I'm a fucking idiot with no taste. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, the assholes that knock you down the escalators, they're hilarious. Um, I love Silent Hill Homecoming because it is a sci-fi original movie. Like, I'm somebody that loves mystery science theater and like B-movies and stuff like that. Homecoming is hilarious. Homecoming is so dumb, so bad. You, you didn't, community did not succeed. They wanted to see this guy fail. Homecoming is so funny and so bad that it loops back around to being the best. Like, it's so funny. It's not the best, but it's, it's, it's I love it. I have it. I have a place in my heart for homecoming for how stupid it is. It's so goddamn stupid. Yeah, what do these monsters represent? Your guess is as good as mine, friends. Carl got a little bit sadder, yeah. His hope decreased. But yeah, check out the uh, the Founders Pack right here. Got uh, some stickers, including bread and its trauma, which is the big meme of this. And I don't know if they knew, like, when they had this sticker, when they made this sticker and decided to make a very obvious, like, tonguey-cheeky fandom-style joke about something, how much that just doesn't come off good when it's coming from the company, like, the actual source of stuff. Um, you know, it's just, like, any any joke that does well on the internet and becomes embraced by a company and they regurgitate it back to you is immediately dead. And here we skipped a step with its trauma. Because <laughs> its trauma was not a joke that anyone made ever they made it about themselves and it's weird it's so weird they did that anyway let's zoom in and see uh my weird makeup situation <sighs> i feel like i look so weird with lipstick on like far away better and it's not like this color is bad like in a very like it looks better in person that doesn't camera, by the way. I I have I have no shade. Like I have no like ideal shade for me, except my actual lipstick that I actually use. Which is I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch. I'm gonna swatch. I'm a, I'm a makeup reviewer now and I'm I'm gonna swatch. So here is the the one I just used. Which I don't, I don't hate. I don't hate this. This is fine. This is nice. I'm gonna smear it a little bit so it's more amalgamated with my skin here. It does look a slightly more saturated and more orange on camera. But yeah, watch this swatch. You're here on my stream. You're gonna watch my swatch. And this is the lipstick I actually use when I have to go someplace that, um, I don't know is a wedding or something i don't know and it is like so goddamn just my the color of my lips like <laughs> more consistent you know i'll take this off and i'll put my normal lipstick on so you know what it normally looks like yeah talk amongst yourselves gotta deal with this got this like makeup wipe i've got a bunch of makeup wipes i got q-tips so i'm like set up it's a whole evening for me here. It looks terrible with bright light on it. It looks on me. I don't know if it looked better on somebody else. I have quite dry lips. I will say that it seems like it has staying power. It feels like if, um, you know, I, I drank my little drink and it did not come off on the glass. So I will say that it, it sticks to you. Has that going for it? God, this is gonna take forever. Holy shit. If I knew how, I would run an ad. But I don't know how, because I'm not so invested in streaming that I know how to do that. Oh dear. It's smeared all over my face. Well, part of the issue here is that I'm wiping off some of my foundation. So give me a hot minute here to put some of that back on around my mouth.
I like black lipstick. But I just like, I'm not somebody that commits to that, you know? I'm not femme enough, but the effort in. Being femme is a, is a too much effort. Always thought it was too much effort. There was a campaign for MST3K's newest season and it didn't make it. Oh no! That stinks. That stinks for them. I just, I hate when, I hate when there's a project and just don't make the goal in general. It's a shame. That being said, I am not watching Mystery Science Theater. It's just the new one doesn't vibe with me, but that's, you know. Vibes with other, if vibes with other people, that's fine. I'm a very mic only person, you know? That's me. I just feel like the... <laughs> Joel has like two episodes I like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm just not that into Joel. He's too sleepy. I know it's supposed to be like part of the joke, but it's just like, also like the Joel episodes are far more referential to like 70s media. I do not know 70s media. I don't know 70s media. Also, yeah, don't look up Mike's fucking political views. That guy sucks. <laughs> that being said, Bill Corbett is an angel and a king. And he's been nothing but nice to me personally. He's been nice to me. When I lost my job? A giant bomb? He condolenced me. Crow T robot fucking condolenced me. And I was like, this feels more like I made it than when I got the giant bomb job. <laughs> He's so cool. He's so nice. I fucking love Bill. Absolutely a, a king of a man. Try and do this quick. This is the quickest I've ever done my lipstick. But this is my go-to lipstick because it's so similar to my normal lip color. And I think it probably matches a bit better with the eye makeup anyway, so whatever. But it's not it's not crazy. It goes with everything. It's subtle enough, but it's clearly like, you know, filling in the gaps of like my chapped my chat flips um but yeah that's my go-to for comparison so plain it's so plain oh, i gotta figure out something better i cannot believe by the way that okay we've got three lipsticks here i can't believe none of them are black why not right ah! Why are none of these black? We got brown, we got red, and we got like a nude. Why, why not a grim dark black? I was expecting like maybe like a like a deep like a rust, like a deep rusty brown or something like that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, not even like a pH red, like a dark deep red. That's how I would have done it. But I'm no makeup nowhere. As you can tell by how much I'm smearing this all over my face. <laughs> Look at this toddler playing with her mom's makeup. But yeah, how do you guys like Silent Hill Ascension so far? You loving it? Ugh, makeup sucks. God. Gender is stupid. Makeup sucks. They're still making official copies of the SH2 soundtrack on CD? Really?
Okay, as much as, uh, you know, this happened to my, my eyes. I feel like I gotta move on to the other, one of the other palettes. We've got two others. Oh my God. Oh my God. Barrow. Thank you. <laughs> um, I feel like we should save Pyramid Head for last. That's what I think. These are so much smaller. Well, I think a lot of it is because the ears are so big. There's nothing in the ears. You know, if it was up to me, I would have put two of the palettes on the ear pieces, right? I would have put like a dark one and like a really light one on the ears. I feel like that would have made a ton of sense. I still can't believe they're magnetic. Weird. Sure, I guess. I don't I don't know if it's weird. I don't fucking own any makeup palettes until now. So what am I what am I talking about? I'm talking out of my ass. I I will admit when I'm talking out of my ass. But usually when it's about Silent Hill, I'm right. Yeah, everything, all the nails in my house are going to be magnetically uh, drawn to me. Okay. The bubblehead nurse from Silent Hill 2. What, what's up with you, girl? Okay. Her mirror quote is, for me, it's always like this, which is Angela's line. Okay sure and <laughs> the background the background of this is so funny because it's from the oh god i think yes i think it's from the final fight with the double pyramid head it's just like a screenshot from that fight because we got james over here and then there's the the carpet the iconic carpet uh, from the hotel. And then pyramid head, <laughs> bleep. But yeah, as you might have seen, uh, our colors <laughs> are very weirdly named. Um, save me wounds, scarred key James, Mary, and forever. This is a very dull palette here. This is just a nude palette. I mean, if it... Okay. Of the palettes that should be nude, sure. The Bubblehead Nurse would be the one because it's just like there's not a lot of colors going on with this character here. Meanwhile, Robbie is very pink and Pyramid Head is very associated with red. So if there was going to be a nude palette, a very skin colored palette, this does make sense. However, I think it's very strange that Scarred, James, and Mary, and even Key are so close in value. Look how close in value, especially James, Scarred, and Mary, those are incredibly the same value. On camera, you cannot tell the difference practically between James and Scarred. Boy, that's a very peculiar choice. Okay, let's swatch these and then we'll get back to uh, another episode of um, Ascension. Huh. Start with the lightest one, which I think is Mary, because she's so innocent. So innocent. She has a little bit of shimmer to her. I only know to put it on my wrist because I've seen TikToks do it. Like, I really, I don't know anything about makeup. I know how to draw, which is why I'm okay at doing the, the cat eyes. Because I can figure that out because I thought about it in an illustration way, right? Once I thought about it in that way, kind of unlocked something in my brain. It's like, oh, I'm just drawing, but on a weird surface. Okay. Um, here's Mary. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is almost certainly a pigment to this, but it is very similar to my white ass. So you're not going to see it very much. 
This is super, super similar. And I'm interested to compare the two with Lakeside. And it's it's like a combination of Lakeside and bread. I'm going to put Lakeside on one side. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put bread on the other side. Yeah, I feel like this is like the middle point between these two things. That's why they put it in a different palette. God, you cannot see bread on me. I'm I'm bread. I'm bread. Folks, confirmed. I <laughs> I'm bread. <laughs> Okay, farthest to this side, that's bread. The middle one is Mary. And this one that you can't see hardly is um, Lakeside. <laughs> I'm bread. Uh, let me be clear, I'm bread. <laughs> She's bread, they're bread. Wow, okay, hmm, ha, hmm, hmm. Okay, strange. All of makeup is strange to me. Actually, I think I can just like... I could do this. Oh, is this like a feature? Oh, it's a feature. I think it's a feature of Q-tips to do that. And then you just kind of roll it back up. Maybe that's a thing you're supposed to do. Okay, next. <laughs> next least palest one I think is James James I'm gonna actually I'm gonna hmm. I'm gonna take the Mary I'm gonna put a little chunk on here because like now there's another thing next to it so I've kind of I've sullied the swatch by doing that and then I'm gonna I think it's a feature of Q-tips to do this. Oh my goodness. God, James is so pale. <laughs> like, yes, he's pale, but holy shit. Oh my God, this does not show up on me. Straight up. This does not show up on me. <gasps> this is like, I mean, okay, maybe this is my new foundation or something. Cause like, yo, this does not exist. What am I, how do I show this to the camera? I'm like packing this on, like it's not, it's non-existent. Oh my god. It's... It's here. Can you see anything here? No. Your bitch is too white. Yeah, I'm gonna put James on like my face, because my face is more red. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like here. We're gonna we're getting creative with swatches here. For 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 contrast and comparison's sake. Yo, that is just my skin tone. Compare this to this. I have the mildest like rosacea on my cheeks and my chin, my nose. And it turns out I'm just James colored. <laughs> I'm colored like a bad man. Well, I learned something about myself today. <laughs> okay, scarred. Okay, scarred also is incredibly a uh, white girl color. That is extremely... You cannot see it. You cannot see it. Who is this for? I'll put this on my cheek too. Wow, this is the almost the damn same. I gotta pack it on so hard to for it to show up. How is it how is it different? How is it how is it different? I don't know. 
Anyway, we're moving on. Moving on to the one that's called Key. Is there really not a better noun to to assign to this color? Key? I really don't think it's key colored. It's really like a bronze gold. And it looks a little orange on camera. Quite orange on camera. I'll put it on my, on my face too. Why not? Ugh. Fuck it. I'm about to undo my face anyway. Mm. But you can see when I turn my face that it is reflective. It has like... Sorry, I bumped the mic. It has some sort of luminescence in it that like, oh, when it's in the dark, it looks more orange and within the light, it has like a sheen to it. So, yo, 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 you're right, Diabolic. That would be dope, but it would have been, uh, <laughs> it would have been nine identical reds, which would have been funny and the freaks would have bought it. Is this funny? Sorry, my accent is going crazy right now. Um, I'm like just drunk enough to have my accent be crazy. Okay, I'm trying wounds. Which is actually a color. It's our first color of this batch. It's very similar to Robbie. It has more of a metallic sheen to it. This one's just more metallic in general because it has like key is metallic, wounds is metallic, and forever is metallic. But like the Robbie the Rabbit one only dead to me looks metallic no wait lakeside is metallic but it's so hard to see and dried blood is metallic but because it's so saturated it's also hard to see it's the opposite of lakeside um wounds however has it's actually just a nice it's a nice like metallic pink you know it has some you know presence to it I'll take it compared to God, the rest of this palette just being like, who cares? And last one, which is the worst name for anything. Save me. Oh, no way. I didn't do forever yet. Forever's at the bottom. I started with the lightest and I'm going darkest, but save me, which looks very brown. And then when you pick it up, it actually has like a bit of red to it when like a like a cocoa bean way on those rich browns. Oh, this is one of those ones that like you can tell goes a long way. I say that as someone that does not do makeup. Say that like I have any authority in my body for this. Oh, it looks so much more red on camera. Oh my goodness. That is way more red than it looks in real life. Holy crap. Yeah, not even close to how it looks. I would say that this looks like a cocoa, cocoa bean. Like if you've ever been to like Hershey Park or something like that and you've seen like, oh, the cocoa mills, like the fake cocoa mills. Like that's a, the color. It's like this really rich, dark chocolate to it. It does not look as red as that, but it definitely has red as a big primary undertone. Last one. Then we'll go back to Ascension, because I know you're jonesing for it. Oh, you can't wait to go back to Ascension while I put this stupid shit on my face. Forever is this one. And this is a, I don't know, like a copper, copper gold, bronze gold. You know, for a nude palette, you know, I would say that these colors go together better than the Robbie the Rabbit one. But it doesn't interest me particularly. Yeah, it looks a lot more just like poop brown here. You can't really see the uh, iridescence. It's hard to show off to the camera, my damn hand here. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, it's not quite the color. Camera is not doing, doing the colors justice on this one. I feel like the previous palette was a little more like camera friendly. This one, because there's just, I think, more of the iridescent ones that catch the light weird. It's not as camera friendly. That's my read. My uh, extremely um, amateur read. 
I I don't know, Replicia. I don't know. I'm out of my depth already. Truly, I do not know. I'm try I'm gonna try to mm, for this one. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna ignore the light ones. I'm gonna try to like do all these super dark ones for me messing up my face, messing up my damn face. Did I throw away the previous um? makeup thing. Guess so. Guess it was used up. But yeah, let me take a break to take all this makeup uh, off and I'll be back real shortly to fuck up my face again. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, Nick Cage. That makes sense to me. Well, I tend to make myself look like a clown with the makeup. I think at the end, at the end, I think I will. Because I don't want to start off with it and have people be like, wow, this idiot can't do makeup. It's like, yes, I, I mostly can't, but not as bad as this. By the way, look how, you know, this is not going to be on the VOD. Look how red my actual skin is. <laughs> foundation, no foundation. Makeup is magic. What can I say? Drag chicken put chip in and put makeup on him. He wouldn't. <laughs> He's confident in his gender and I will not question him on it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. God, these are ridiculous. Anyway, be right back. I guess I'll run an ad if I know how to do that. I'll look up how to do it. I should learn, right? I should learn how to do that. In a general sense. By the way, almost uh, 250 people watching this. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for giving a shit about me. Um, I think that's in the creator dashboard. Oh, thank you, Rotoreneg, Rotoreneg, Rotoreneg. I'll I'll figure out how to say your your name eventually. Um, ads manager sets your ad spacing. I just want to like trigger one. The Ads Manager Settings page. I guess that's under monetization. Yeah, ads. That makes sense. Um, uh, yeah. Where Where is just the button to play one? There's a button, right, to play one? I feel like there is. There are buttons on this Twitch Stream Manager. Huh. Twitch stream manager. Stream manager, there it is. Oh, we'll find it. Quick actions, edit stream info, clip that, raid channel, manage goals, stream together, sub only chat, manage predictions, manage polls, sound alerts. 60 second ad is currently X'd out. Not allowed to do it. I don't know why. <laughs> hmm. Well, access denied. What can I say? I'll be right back anyway. Chill out and uh, link other people to the stream. I don't know. W one must have just ran, right? One must have just ran, so I'm not allowed to do it again. Josh Moniz! Thank you! Behold, the burger has become fully voided. It ushers in the eldritch arrival of these fools that tried to test her on Silent Hill of all things. Right, can you believe them? Can you believe them? The noise, the noise of these people. I swear to God. Anyway, sorry, an ad just ran and I didn't, I whiffed it, I whiffed it. I could have played it in a normal place. 
What a shame. Anyway, be right back. Chill out. Tell people about the stream. Link it to people. I don't know. And my eye makeup is off. And I actually managed to play an ad manually and go for me. Anyway, back to the game? The game? The videoed game? Silent Hill? Ascension? Wait, it's this and I have to change the tab. Boip. Anyway. Where's the next episode? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy, it's trauma. All right, uh, episode two. Let's go! Would you like some coffee or something? This is I where it gets weird. When I was pregnant. This is the episode where it starts sounding like AI. It felt like perhaps, 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 big perhaps, that they actually might have, by humans, written the first one. And this one they might have, like, had a little bit of a hand in it, a little bit of influence, but I do the way that the pa the pacing of the back and forth of the conversation and the topic is, and how bland the topics are, how blandly people are treating the subject matter, there's something AI about this. I never went back. I understand Indra have been feeling ill for a while. That's right. Was last night worse than usual? Uh, I'm not... I'd have to think. There will be an autopsy. So we'll have answers soon enough. Many I spoke to had... strong feelings about your wife. She's not even buried. And people are already dragging her name. She had her defenders. Mostly those who were scared of her. And I think it's safe to say most in this town would celebrate one less Johansson. Why? I could barely even find someone to do the autopsy. Why? It's a small town. Grudges live longer than people. What? And you, detective. Are you glad to see one less Johansson? I loved her, detective. I shouldn't have to prove that to you. I guess I'll take your word for it. For now, anyway. I've had enough of this. We're in mourning. If I have other questions, I'll be in touch. You know where the door is. Uh, I'll walk you out. Your father's memory may be hazy, but mine's not. I know what kind of person Ingrid was. If there's something you're hiding, either of you, you need to tell me. We'll find out either way. Okay? Yeah, this is episode two. This is episode two. It feels like you missed something, right? Ah, oh, jeez. By the way, I do like, um... Is it wound? I do like wound. As an eyeliner thing. Wink, wink. Something that drives me nuts in um so many so much media in general is that nobody remembers what it's like to be a kid or what kids are interested in. You know? You you see, like I know it's just easier to find like models of bullshit toys, but it's like Okay, was this kid really playing chess? Like, kids don't play chess. Like, oh, a chess set and some a fucking teddy bear that she was playing against. No, children don't do that. A lava lamp? Kids don't have those. Okay, why does this kid have a lava lamp? It's hot. Modern kids don't have lava lamps because they burn children. No. <laughs> Damned burns. Is everything okay? Uh, 
Yeah. I just... I burned myself. You sure? Yeah, I... I'm fine. Hey, about the thing with Toby? I, uh... I hope I didn't get you in trouble with anybody at the foundation. Hey, um... By the way, look forward to the next many episodes uh, of this guy and his wife constantly talking about Toby and how she is like, you need to stop being friends with him. And he's like tortured about it, but he always goes with her. What it's worth. But then he like doubles back and it's just like, oh, I feel bad. And then she's like, no, do it. And then he does it again. I think you were right to send him that prayer. Maybe some small part of it got through to him. Fuck you. Xavier's dealing with bigger problems than Toby. The Xavier. You never did tell me what happened. Joy died during a ceremony. It was just her and me and then... The purifier? Oh, there was something else. Something right out of Radcliffe's writings. Oh my god. Her and me and the purifier. Anyone. Xavier needs this to stay quiet until we can figure out what really happened. Understand? Rachel? What's wrong? Rach! We need to go to the Foundation. Now! What? Why? Go she, does, she does I'll this pass. a lot. We need to do something now! Ah! Demanding! Rach, it's the middle of the night and- Eric, I know this brings up bad memories for you, but we're not safe here. But what do we tell Faith? I guess we could lie and say it's a sleepover. At least you wouldn't be scared. Xavier doesn't approve of keeping the truth from children. We can tell her a story from the scriptures. Xavier keeps copies in his library. That is keeping the truth Some from a children. From scary. a children. <laughs> Eric, you're not helping. Crab meats with a fan art of some sort. Look, we don't have time to debate this. I just need your faith to do exactly what I say. That's It'll good. That's good as hell. I don't know if she'll listen. Wow, so thank you, know. crab meats. <laughs> Eric, go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> crab meats, thank you. I love it. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I got in my eye. <laughs> Bullshit. You couldn't even answer your fucking phone. Joy? You never cared about me. That's why I joined them. To find a real family. This a is real a family. family. Then open your eyes. Oh God! Joy! No! Bleh. 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 What? what? This isn't real. Oh, get your shit together, Toby. <laughs> we both know that'll never happen. You're just gonna stand there. <gasps> After what they did to me? After what she did? Rachel did this? First she screwed you over. Destroyed your life. Man. You found me. The thing is I like Overtone. How dare you advertise to me? Took mine. She needs to answer for what she's done, Toby. You deserve the truth. Rachel, the Foundation, they won't say a goddamn thing. I warned you about them, Joy. But I'll show you. He's right. The ghost did. is wrong. I can prove it now. Proof? Even if you had it, who would believe you? Who or would believe Toby you? Somebody, the town drunk. The fuck up. Then what do I do? Please, tell me what to do. Burn it down. All Looks like you're gonna kiss there. Kiss I, your sibling. They kill me. Joy, please. 
again, I think like as you know, episode one was fully human written, episode two was partially human written, and the more you go through the episodes, the less humans are involved. So keep that in mind in my head canon. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, there's still more. Ugh. Gotta go back to Sephora and get more of these. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I want to hear that again, actually. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. You're on the edge of your seat, folks. I don't know which YouTube channel I'm putting this shit on. Maybe it's the... Maybe it's the video essay one. By the way, these buggies, I'm pretty positive, are based off of the ones from Homecoming. Little creepers from Homecoming. Because the creepers from Homecoming are also very like they got a little human face let me go and check them out uh homecoming creepers i think they're called god damn it silent hill <laughs> god damn it fucking google creeper ain't i right ain't i right about it um mm. Gotta go to the wiki. Maybe they're called something else. There should be Silent Hill shoes. I'm surprised they haven't done it yet, honestly. Uh, Where's the, even the search bar for this? Homecoming. Creeper? Enemies? Circumcreep them? Swarm. They're called swarms. These boys. So, they look normal from the top. But on the bottom, they're little guys. They got little faces. Isn't that fun? They're fun little guys. Oh, they got a little leech face on the top. Ugh, ew, icky, icky. These guys, icky. I swear they had more of like a humanoid face to them, but I think they're based off those. Again, I just feel like they took a whole bunch of Silent Hill monsters, put it into some sort of computer, and said, make us something similar. Oh my! Perfect. He'll go that way now. Again, none of these cutscenes are canon. They're not happening. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. No, bad. Put it down. No, what do you have? No, stay away. Like, I don't think the voice acting is AI. You know? Because there's too much emotion in it. Unless AI is just better than I thought it was. There's a non-zero chance of that. By better, I mean, like, more thorough.
I'm gonna try doing like an under eye thing. Don't hate it, but it's not quite the right shape. Doggy. Yeah, I like these. I like these dogs. Like, actually, I like them that their their mouths go all the way back. Those are nice. Those are perfectly fine iterations on the same design they've been iterating on for goddamn ages. Silent Hill 1 had dogs. Silent Hill 2 had no dogs. Silent Hill 3, 4, I think, etc. all had dogs of different uh, makes and models and calibers. But I kind of like this version that is a, you know, similar riff on the other ones where it just goes way, way past. Two didn't have dogs, believe it or not. Two ain't got dogs. <laughs> James was not afraid of dogs. I don't know. <laughs> one dog, the Sheba. Yes, one dog. Technically, one dog. You know, I, I'm often wrong. I often misremember. Don't take me as like the end all be all this is the the incredible final source of things <laughs> you know thank you vader jester vader's jester thank you so sad there's ads silent hill pope i'm fallible i swear i'm fallible oh this is where we learn that astrid has a job at a lab <laughs> Hospital? Lab? Morphine. She did it. She, she did it. Prescribed mm. morphine. She killed her mom, right? Hello? Hello, Astrid. This is Mrs. Stobbick. I'm one of Orson's instructors. Oh my god, this scene is so boring! <gasps> oh! I'm afraid not. There was an altercation between some of the kids today. It's hard to say who started it, but Orson bit another student. I'm afraid you're going to have to keep him home until... It's hard to say? Orson could have been pushed or provoked. Maybe it was self-defense. Look, we have a very strict policy about violence. Regardless of how it started, we're suspending Orson for a few days. I'm sorry. <sighs> Did I catch you at a bad time? Yeah, you fucking freak. I didn't see one cultures you wanted. Everything okay? Uh, some drama at Orson's school. <laughs> Apparently he misbehaved. But it could have been the other kids who started it for all I know. One parent to another. Fuck him up. Him Fuck him up. <laughs> One parent to another. Fuck that kid up. <laughs> if anyone in my family stepped even a toe out of line, we never heard the end of it. I never wanted that for Orson. And he's so impressionable at this age. It takes a lot of work to not become our parents. <sighs> Maybe I'll just give him a good talking to. In my experience, Lectures are sometimes not enough. In one ear, out the other. What would you do? Something he'd understand. Uh, kill him. <laughs> like taking away his toys. He'd hate it. And I'm not sure I could handle the tears. We all have to learn that actions have consequences. Great scene. I loved it. I got so much out of it. <laughs> Getting a lot of uh, eye makeup practice in. Thank you for uh, bearing with me. Also, I, I hate that Orson bit somebody. Oh, That's also a here. very like autism yeah, thing. Uh, it's just like, okay, great. Oh. They're behavioral, we get oh. it. When did you get here? <gasps> Mama kicked me out of the house again. Okay, if I stay? Who is this woman? This lady just kind of happens? right here in this scene and she becomes someone that's like in a bunch of scenes with this guy and i'm just like i still don't, I don't know so who she is really butter. not exactly protagonist <laughs> my child bit someone and was suspended to math i guess i'll reluctantly ask a co-worker for parenting advice i guess because he like yes. enforced on her what do you have there lila then you got in a bit of trouble at school i hear well 
We'll stay out of trouble here, won't we? He beat someone, huh? When I was his age, I used to bite kids at school too. Grandpa? This is the grandma? only... I'll, I'll say so I'll say about this lady whose name I immediately forgot. Any put in the chat if you know what her name. I did not pay attention. Uh, she is the only character in this where I think perhaps was intentionally intended to be strange and off kilter. Emma, a Ava. That's complicated, Lineman. Ava or Emma? You haven't told him. I was his age when I lost my grandma. Spoiler alert. Papa's <laughs> mama. Oh, he was so sad. I'll put on one of the. Out of his room for a week. One of these two. That made mama angry. I kept asking why Papa was so sad, and that made her even angrier. So finally, she told mm. me. Which one? What did she tell you? What she thought I needed to hear. Grandpa, where's Grandma? Yeah, I'm wondering if Ava's not real. You very much, right? Because no one else seems to like Just acknowledge like that she's her. talking. <laughs> your mama does too. Where did she go? This exchange is so funny. Well, you see, Lilivan, Grandma, she died. Am okay, I am I gonna too? die too? Not for a very long time. I don't think I want to. <laughs> no hesitation. Don't worry about that now, Lilivan. Can you watch him a moment? Orson, Grandpa's going out to check on the farm. Will you be okay playing with your toys for a few minutes? I'll play with Zane. Who is Zane? Thomas Zane, Zane from Zane. Ellen Wake. Someone to watch over me. Here's some dumbass foundation members Mommy, again. I don't like it here. Mommy, I'm, I'm 30. Soon. I don't want to be here. We'll soon. We just need to be here for a little while. I'll go grab the rest of our things. We set up some cots in the meeting room. You and Eric can... I don't want to stay here. Remember the story about the girl in the stone castle? Her mommy and daddy took her to a big castle so she'd be safe from the monsters outside. And remember who was there to protect them? The perf... Purifier. That's right. Uh, yeah, the big vagina the monster, face thing was there to protect like you. The story? Faith, this place is like the stone castle. Nothing bad can get you in here. Uh, okay. I saw something again tonight. The purifier? I don't know. The purifier. Wait, 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 wait. Xavier, I'm afraid. I missed Not a couple. Me, but they're my family, too. Rachel, you are a walking. Miracle. The purifier would never let anything harm you. What about Eric? What about her? I do Christa's so right. enjoy making Maybe butter. <laughs> Krista is wrong. I can't believe this I'm whole sure thing is the machinations of but Jacob how Crane. <laughs> how do any of us know if any of this is true? <laughs> the elders will help us make sense of all of this. Rachel, we love you. And we would never let anything happen to you or your family. You Unless. That, right? Of course I do. Good. Now get some rest. I actually like this this particular lipstick. <laughs> Is it done? Might be done. There a uh Oh no no there's there's some shit so my wife there's some shit happening here. How many episodes of these are there? Well a lot of them are short. A lot of them are five minutes or less, and there's twenty something of them now. So you know. This one is 20 minutes long, and I don't know why. It's because, like, there's a gameplay section here. 
So hang out here for a minute while I perfect this actually kind of alright lipstick that I don't mind that I got. <laughs> See, the trick about lipstick is you have to go past your lips. <laughs> like that's something you don't notice until you look for it in like movies and stuff. Like, oh, that person's lipstick goes like way past where the li their lips are actually at. this one i don't hate this one at all this one's all right i'm gonna keep in mind the <laughs> which one is this the nurse one which is confusing because two of them have a nurse on it it's actually quite confusing <gasps> these guys are hilarious check these guys out i love these guys i actually like these guys in like a homecoming way these guys are funny look at them they're very um uh Half-Life Alex. Who's that guy? Steve? Jeff. Jeff. They're very Jeff adjacent. He's a jiggling. He's a jiggling. He's a fun little jiggly guy. But yeah, these are QTEs. <laughs> What is this? Where are we? <laughs> Buppy. Yeah, they do repeat. They're just not very interesting though. He's got a shotgun this time. Has he had a shotgun before? I wasn't really paying attention. Puppy! Yeah, look how far- I love that. Look how far back it goes. That's fun. That's really fun. Look at that. That goes all the way back to his neck. I like that a lot, actually. That's a fun character design. I will give it to him for that. <laughs> Shooting some guys. Who cares? Some wiggly dudes on the ceiling. Silent Hill, baby. Who cares? I would say that we're closer than Who goddamn cares? Yeah, anyway, here's the new look. It's pretty functional. I didn't put more foundation on, so excuse that. But um pretty functional. I like this lipstick. A lot more. Uh, now that I know that you're supposed to do this wet, it's like a whole different ball game. Didn't know. Didn't know at all. That was the thing. But yeah, I like the lipstick. I think it's okay on me. Not all lipsticks uh, actually uh, look all right on me. Yeah, the other one's just a little too dark, a little too saturated. But this is kind of like a middle ground between the one that I showed you that I uh, actually use IRL for weddings and stuff and the more saturated one. I was also experimenting a little so with the underline here. Your makeup journey is 10x <laughs> more engaging and has more narrative cohesion than Ascension. Josh, Josh, you crazy. You're probably right, but you crazy. But yeah, I was trying to do like a little bit of a underline thing but i think i just like because i started on the upper lid 
I wasn't taking into account the actual angle here. So next time, next palette, we'll try that a little different. But next palette is this one. Pyramid head. <laughs> oh, what a world, what a world. Should probably tweet about this again. Triangle man. Yeah, you're supposed to wet the makeup uh, blender. The beauty blenders are supposed to be wet. It's supposed to be moist, not wet, moist. Ugh. Makeup and Silent Hill, believe it or not, is still happening. Twitch.tv slash Void Burger. Oh, I guess I should take a selfie. That's what the engagement is all about. Guess I should get my tits out to get people to watch my fucking stream. I'm so blessed that I don't have to do that for fucking engagement. Pow! Pow! This is how autistics play with trains! <laughs> oh, it's so real. That's how they do it. <laughs> Whatever, Vips. Yeah, when does he bite the train? We're all on the edge of our seat about that. Hey, Angel. Or is you my devil? To to you about something. You know how you've been staying home from school? That's because of what happened on your last day. If he's not you supposed remember? to be autistic, you ask a lot shocker. Of questions, Mama. Like Zane. Is that a friend in your class? Imaginary friend. Orson. Your teacher said you got into... an argument. And you bit another kid? You bit another kid? Orson. Look at me. Look at me. The thing I was told all my fucking life as an autist. Do you understand me? When you hurt people, it hurts you in your heart. And it hurts my heart too. You don't want to hurt me. Do you? Yes. Astrid. I think that's enough. I know that was hard to hear. <clears throat> but that ugliness? That's how your grandma behaved. I don't think we need any more angry, mean old ladies in the world. <laughs> and more good little boys. More Orsons. Okay. 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 Back to the drunk guy. Oh no, wait, it's Astrid again. <laughs> I can make us some tea. The water's still hot. No, Papa. You did a hard thing up there. Talking things out with Orson. But I think you'll be a better person for it. I don't want to hear your review of my parenting skills. <laughs> All right. Then what do you want to talk about? The syringe. The one I found in Mama's room. There's nothing more to say. I ran a test on it, Papa. It was filled with morphine. Is that what you were giving Mama? Is that what killed her? Why do you bring this up again? Why can't you let it go? <laughs> I already told you that, that wasn't my fault. Thank you from the mazes. Bless you. <laughs> because you were scared of her. Father, you don't know anything. You don't know what it was like, what she could do, what... Are you fucking serious? I know exactly what it was like. <laughs> this house was tortured. And you, Papa, you didn't do a goddamn thing about it. What does this have to do with Silent Hill, though? Like, why is it happening? I don't know. Whatever. Where are you going? To get Orson. You are not fit to be around him. Leave the boy, Astrid. You don't know what you're saying. I thought all of this shit was finally gone with Mama. 
I was wrong. I'm sorry. I... I don't know what happened. I've heard a lifetime of empty apologies. I don't need another. Astrid, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Astrid! Oh, it's a 30-year-old child. Please. Make it stop. It's not a game. You just watch it. It's not a game. At least, like, even, even the ones that people bitched about back in the day. Like, oh, Firewatch is not a game. Gone Home is not a game. At least you controlled something. I can lock up. See you back at the house. At least you controlled I something. We need to go back. What? Let's go, Faith. Grab your stuff. Oh, Wait, time to grab your stuff again. Talk to me. Mommy? Like the other scene we Faith, just did. Honey, can you go check on the machines over there? Go see if anyone left anything behind. You trusted me enough to tell me what really happened to Joy, and you can trust me now. So tell me. What's going on? Hey, look at me. Hey. Rach. Rach. You can talk to me. I can't. Rage, come on. Rage. I'm not going to tell you anything. You're asking me to break my oath. I just want to help. I said no. This music sucks. You're what right. is this music? I'm sorry. Great, great. It's going well. Um, how is everybody liking the series? Sayahul Sancha, how are you liking it? Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, what's what's the one I haven't used? Okay, definitely to close it properly. I definitely use this one, but I don't know how to close it. There we go. Okay. I use that one. I used the pyramid head one. I think I used all three, actually, didn't I? Oops, something. It went to the next episode. Um, I'm not sure I used this one, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, I'll 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 take a short break and then we will uh, try the third. Actual palette. We've mingled in the lipsticks, which I think I've tried all three now. Could be wrong, because I am drinking, because this is so sad that I need to drink for it. But we'll be back in just a jiffy for more of this. I can't believe we've hardly, hardly gotten into it. It's episode five. That's very depressing to me. The rest will go quick because the rest are fucking five minutes long. So. Stay tuned. I had an issue. The issue was that I didn't know where this went. It was the thing that fell down some time ago. And because it is so um, dark on this side, it kind of wedged itself in a weird spot. Could not tell where it was. Had no clue. But here's the pyramid head one. We're back. It's time for the pyramid head one. Uh, it says very imperceptibly on the bottom of vampire cosmetics. Yeah, it's a bit open, but also the floor is there. So who cares? Um, yeah. The front is just pyramid head. The back is the uh, scotch you can see from Heaven's Night. Uh, in the uh, opening, literally the opening scene, the bathroom that James is in has a Heaven's Night poster. It's fun that it says borderline on it because that is the uh, the club from uh, Phantasmagoria 2 is called Borderline. The one that you see the dancing boys for when you uh, subscribe to me, but <laughs> the mirror on one end 
says, I can't tell you to remember me, but I can't bear for you to forget me. And in my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. At the top, can't bear for you to forget me. To forget me. <laughs> With the, the very classic pyramid head uh, illustration and this is not an eBay thing. This is something that's legitimate. Um, yeah. The palette Excel itself has a bubblehead nurse on it. And the quote, um, uh, the door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares, which you find pretty early in the game near and around the, uh, apartment level but the uh colors are we finally have a black and the black is called fog why 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 is the black called fog <laughs> oh that's the opposite of what fog looks like for god's sake for christ's sake Famously black. Uh, then we have Abyss, which is blue. That should have been called Toluca. If I had my wherewithal sins, which is a shimmery gray black, slightly purple. Restless, which is another fucking beige with some shimmer to it. Rust. That's rust. That. That is rust. That is not rust. You are kidding me. Dreams. Dreams is the purple one. Okay, what do you think this red one is coming up? I want to see in the chat if you hadn't seen it. You have not seen what that one is. Blood, piss, eggs. Mm -hmm. Hole. <laughs> really, the, the black one should have been called hole, right? <laughs> Let's see what the red one is. It's persecuted. It's persecuted. And then there's Promise, the most famous song in it, which seems to be a kind of a non-committal purple is what I'm going to call that. And then Nightmares, the red one. This one has a lot more variety than the previous ones, I got to say. Let me bring them out, actually. I feel like this one has the highest color variance of the others, all of them. Oh, I'm trying so hard to get them into one shot. Ah, it's hard to do because it's mirrored. But yeah, the pyramid head one has the clearly the most variance of hues in it. Oh, blue should have been in water. You're absolutely right. You are super duper right. GX suit, <laughs> however you say your name. Um, yeah, what a missed opportunity. I just think it's uh, so peculiar that they're all magnetic. That being said, again, I don't know. I wouldn't know. I'm not a makeup palette person. I don't know if they're commonly like this. Oh my God, I have makeup all over my desk. What a shame. But yeah, I guess I'll try to put these on during the next chunk. What is this little chunk I have at me? Oh yeah, yeah. How long has that been there? The big disclaimer background came from Bloober Team themselves. Today, I think. Pretty sure. I don't know how this happened or where it came from. Okay. But yeah, real quick. Do our best to swatch these boys. Let's go lightest to darkest again. First up is Restless, which is the only, I would say the only nude palette on this. Only nude color on this palette. 
uh yeah pretty similar to my wet girl skin gotta say uh, a little shimmery slightly more coppery than my skin oh it comes up it comes off way more obviously on camera the coppery elements it is absolutely not that obvious looking at it in real life I don't know. <sighs> Value wise, I would say that next up is Rust. Which is another really cute pink. Each of these palettes has a very cute pink. Robbie the Rabbit one obviously has pink going for it. The Bubblehead Nurse one does too. This one also a very, very cute pink. It looks nicer in person, again. Um, I guess I'll just blend that with the next one that is the most red, which is Persecuted. Persecuted. Super red. Really red. It's a very bodacious red. It, again, looks more orange on camera. But I would I would say that I like this palette a lot so far. Because <laughs> uh, it's a very handsome red. Gotta say, and the pink is... Uh, it, it, it is up there with the Robbie the Rabbit one and the Pyramid Head, the, the previous one, the uh, Bobblehead Nurse one. Which, was, which I liked. I put that on my eyelids and I thought that was cute. So. Yeah, it's quite red. It's quite red. That's a red that you have to be either bold with or careful with, I imagine. As someone not entirely familiar with these things. Um, I feel like it makes sense to go to the next darkest red, which is Nightmares. It's called Nightmares! How stupid. Oh, it's like, a, it's basically, this is exactly the shade that I would call wine. If there was ever a color that I would absolutely call the noun wine, that is wine it doesn't look it looks more fuchsia on camera but IRL that is a very nice classy cranberry sort of color raspberry cranberry wineish color it's cute it's actually cute all right we're going into the uh the weird colors here most of them are are cold colors in purple but I'll, I'll start with sins which is this weird shimmery, shimmery gray? What is this? Gray brown? Yeah, it's definitely, I would say brown. That's brown. That's brown. You know, I bet it would blend well with the other colors on the other palettes, but uh, it doesn't do much for me. Anyway. Moving on from the uh, light purples to the dark, the dark bullshit. We have Promise. And Promise is a kind of non-committal maroon. Somewhat whiny. More like a bruise. This is a big bruise color for me. Promise. I feel like I could really put a really good bruise together with these. Again, I can't believe there isn't a green. Because a green would really pull together the idea of having a bruise palette here. Dreams is just purple. This is just purple. It's a cute purple. It's a slightly iridescent, slightly shimmery purple. But you know what? This don't get much more purple than this. This motherfucker purple. But it is in a very bruisey way. Right? Hmm. 
very bruisy. And next. Going through it because I want to get back to Ascension. Abyss, the blue one. What? It's blue. We're talking Mimi from Drew Carey show blue. Remember that fucking show from fucking 80 years ago? That is blue as fuck. Yo, that is crazy blue. It has its purposes. I personally don't have much use for such a dark blue because it's very, I don't know. There's something about a dark blue eyeliner eyeshadow that is um, tacky, you know? I do like that this palette so far just has a lot of variety in it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think I'll, I'll use them, but in conjunction with the other palettes. I don't think like I would take a single palette and use just that. I think I'd use one from this one, one from the other one, third one if I'm feeling real fancy real fancy but like because I don't think these palettes in and of themselves go together very well but I think they go with each other you know a lot better anyway sheesh that's the incredibly blue one and the last one is of course fog the one that is just goddamn black that's black, dog. <laughs> That's just it litter it's just black. <sighs> it's just black. There's nothing to it. It doesn't have no shimmer to it. It is just black. On camera, it looks like it has a brown element to it, but in person, I would say it doesn't. It's not, that's not apparent. It's practically speaking eyeliner. Uh, it's quite black. So yeah, I guess uh, we'll watch some more Ascension and I'll do something with these. Clown style at this point. Thank you. Thank you for giving a fuck. Um... <laughs> But yeah, let's get back to it. Ay, ay, ay. <gasps> Magic. Detective. Detective. Yeah, this is where it starts getting feeling really AI'd me. Can I get you something to drink? No, thank you. Well, I'm here. Why did you call me? I am. Um, I wanted to show you this. I found this in my mother's room. It's morphine. She wasn't prescribed it, but if this syringe was full, it could have been a lethal dose. You think your father did this? I'm not sure. You should have given this to me earlier. But I understand your hesitation. It can't have been easy. If it helps us know the truth, do what you have to do. This was something people I voted for. <laughs> and you'll notice because this was something people voted for. There's other things they voted for later that don't make sense in context that this happened. Keep in mind that it would be weird if the cop who was told by the daughter, hey, I think my dad did it. Here's a syringe of morphine. Wouldn't it be weird if the cop went to the dad and been like, your daughter told me that <laughs> you did it because that happens later. How'd they die? You probably think that was. Oh, it too. happens now! It happens I now! She was very helpful. May have given me what I need to put you away. 
What? Surprised? What? Yes, I'm surprised. Why you arrested me then? If you had what? any excuse Why? to put those cuffs on me, you would. Would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I just you can't. <laughs> can't. Even you don't think you have the evidence. You're just trying to scare me into confessing. And giving you a chance to tell the truth before the autopsy does it for you. What if the truth is impossible to believe? Like what? A no kin did it? Look, just save us the trouble and admit you killed her. Denial won't hold up against evidence. The evidence you don't have. Yet. Okay, why did you just, why would you do that? Why would you tell her? Why would you tell him Are you like ready? that? But it was so Are boring. Ready? Tell them the truth and everything will be fine. Xavier, I... Rachel Hernandez, we're ready for you. These are the elders. These are the elders. Keep in mind, these are the elders. Yes, Neil. Whether out of penitence or humility, we must decide how to judge the work of your hands. Rachel Hernandez, your sister Joy is dead, but you are very much alive. This is the scene where I was like, wait a minute. Is this written by AI? Wait a minute. This was like the scene that made me think it for, for reference. Why is this? Look at me, Rachel. S something killed her. Something. We'll need more to go on than that. I... I don't know. One of our own is dead. We demand answers. I don't have them. I've replayed that day in my mind again and again, and I... I can't ignore my doubts. Explain. I did everything correctly, exactly as I was taught. Every word, every cut. But what I saw? It was something new, something we don't understand. Are you questioning the veracity of our teachings? <laughs> no. Whoa! I'm just saying, what if we miss something? What if there's something we don't know? This order has stood for centuries. Uh. How dare you? Though I am not pleased to see that your faith has wavered, I think it would be unwise to ignore this. A ritual of clarity is required. Barbara, given the outcome of the last ritual, is this our wisest course of action? I believe it is. And why is that? Because the withering must be stopped. The withering. Here? Impossible. I would have seen the signs. You may not have seen them, but she has. You've seen them, haven't you, Rachel? Visions, harbingers, lurking in that cramped, stifling place between sleep and awake. How do you? Between sleep and awake? Writings. And now I know it's spreading here. This town stands on a cliff. As more are drawn into the pestilence blighted web, it flutters further over the abyss. We have to stop it. You have to stop it. I will do whatever is required of me. Good. You will need to choose someone to help you perform the ritual. Someone who will bring you strength. The girl's husband. He's still new to our order, but a marriage bond is a powerful one. <laughs> well delivered. Krista should do it. Me? She and Rachel haven't always seen eye to eye, but friction can yield. Which is why I think it'd be I dramatic. Though you should consider our bond is only still in its infancy. I... I need time to think. Tune in next time for... Uh, uh, uh. Tune in next time. Tune in next time. Nothing happened in that episode. Get used to it! Get used to it. Nothing ever happens in these. Culture looks healthy. Closely watching their calcium buildup, but for the next trial, Papa, what are 
What are you doing here? I went to your place. I thought I was picking Orson up to take him to school, but he wasn't there. I was waiting there, scared to death. I took him to school. I told you. I don't want you around here. This right is now. all AI, I should have known. in my opinion. Haugen told me you gave her the syringe. You really think I could do something so horrible? Was Mama such a terrible person that she deserved to be murdered? Who will watch him while you're working? I'll figure something out, but it won't involve you. Okay. I'm sorry you got roped into this. I'm sorry about a lot of things. What? I'm asking for forgiveness here. Begging for it. Please, Astrid. Can we just move on? I'm not Mama. I'm not looking for you to grovel. I need you to do better as a grandfather than you did as a father. But it's too late for that. I don't want you around my son. And that's final. Safe employees. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Acting. Acting! I'm an actor! Can I get another drink? You look like hell. Red Penguin 20 and Gidget, hello. You, uh, You're looking normal. To talk to? I love how many of these NPCs have orange skin and red hair cold. because everyone's like, that looks like shit. Hey, relax. I'm not with them. Haven't set foot there in years. I'm just talking. Something bad happened in there. <laughs> with my sister. <sighs> Sounds about right. They start as a support group, tell you what you need to hear, but then they make you need them. And when my partner died at the steel mill, they used my grief to rope me in. Assholes. Sorry about your partner. Yeah, well, you should stay as far away from the foundation as you can. I can't. Can't. Still figuring that out. But you didn't hear this from me. But I've got some family who I've been helping lead the foundation. They don't know much. But they say something big's going down this week. My friend Eric's a member. He might know more about it, but... He won't talk. His foundation-loving wife's got him by the balls. Foundation-loving wife? Like soft. A few strong words, and he'd open right up. I'm not sure I want to piss off the only friend I got left. You could always play the heartstrings. You mean beg? Like some kind of pathetic asshole? Yeah, well, you are. Well, so. when you put it that way. Well. You could always lie to him, trick him into telling you. Like I said, sounds like he's soft. I gotta hit the head. Hitting the head is a very European way to say, you gotta hit the can. I gotta take a Hello? big dump. Bye. <laughs> wait, wait. Right? Right? <laughs> Normal. Joy? Normal and fun. Just leave me the bottle, Leo. I can't do that in Leo. Why is there an ice hotel? It's Astrid. Why is there an ice hotel? She thinks I killed her mother. What? How could she think that? She betrayed me to the police. Why does this random town in Norway have an ice hotel? This is the only hotel they have. Murder, Leo. I just know how murder Leo until she's charged me with murder. Maybe you do need this. The 
thing is, I think someone else did it. Who? Astrid. I, I don't know. There was someone, something on the farm that night. Have you told Hogan this? Ah, I think Astrid did it. was crazy. Carl, you have to tell the police immediately. Police? The police? If you don't do it, I will. I've got a friend down at the station and... I don't think I should make more trouble. Any more than you're already in. I just wish Ingrid was here. She didn't know what to do. Yeah, she'd yell she'd at me, call me terrible. Ugh, take it. It's good scotch. It deserves to be savored. Not wasted on a wreck like me. Don't let that Hogan intimidate you. Just tell her the truth and you'll be fine. That doesn't match up with the other advice he mentioned. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Is it just me? I'm fucking up. Stay away. Oh, there's funny guys in this. Too bad there's a friggin' ad, but there's funny guys in this. Because this is watercolor eyeliner. If I hit my eye and my eye waters, it runs. Good to know. Not oil based. I like those guys. These guys are fun. Who the fuck are you? Who is this? Nobody. It's nobody. Made a mess. Made a mess. A damn mess. You can't see it yet, but trust me, it's a mess. Carl, you're doing it. We're all counting on you, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I think like these folks would be good at a saw game. Not gonna lie. This season, Vistaprint has everything you need. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. I tried to do a little bit of an under eye thing, but I just don't have the chutzpah. I don't have the chutzpah to do like the 
under eye going at an angle thing. I need to work on it still. That's all I'm saying. I'm still working on it. Oh, we'll figure it out. It's a little bit of a marathon. I mean, if you consider seven minute clips, five minute clips to be a marathon. <laughs> I'm still messing with this. Hello? Each episode going forward feels more and more like an AI written thing. Alwaxer! By the way, Alwaxer, I'm fairly fucking certain, is an actual old school Silent Hill big name fan who did like basically, uh, you know, like those Yu-Gi-Oh uh, goofy ass dubs did that. But for Silent Hill 2, pretty sure Alwaxer is an actually actual guy that I know by name. And I was like, whoa, Alwaxer, what the fuck? He's British. Got a lovely voice. <laughs> Shout out Alwaxer. I remember you from back in the day. Are you okay? Very stock creaky door noises. Trust me, I know them. I'm using them need currently. To do the ritual as soon as possible. In skull tenders. Because they're free. Have you decided who will be helping you perform the ritual? Have you decided who will be helping you perform the ritual? I want Krista to do it. Why? What? Bitch I sucks. I want you to perform the ritual on me. Rachel, on me. I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but are you okay? Yeah, we don't agree on much, but maybe that's what we need. Sometimes a little friction can be a good thing. What are you saying? Okay. Fine. Now, if that's all, I'd like to speak to Rachel alone. Rachel, during our investigation into Joy's death, you seemed uncertain of things. Well, between Joy and the visions, I... Don't be. I spoke with Xavier. He told me your story. You've overcome a lot. Whatever it is. stop all of this. You are special. I just need you to believe it. Good girl. Good girl? Now then, tell me more. I'm older than you. Good girl. Fuck you! Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. The house is so quiet without Orson here. You really were serious about keeping him away from me. Yes. And yet they're hanging out on the couch. And it will remain that way until... You're sure I'm innocent. Have you thought about what you're going to tell Detective Hogan about... What happened to Mama? I'm sure you have an opinion. Mm. I think you know what I'm going to say. You want me to confess to a crime I didn't commit? I want you to tell the truth. I talked to Britt. Told her what happened. Is she coming back home? I begged her, but she's still. What so is this music? I think it would mean a lot if you reached out. I thought she would listen to me. She hates me almost as much as she hated Mama. It just makes me angry. Who is Brit? Who is anyone? Her right? Dead, and her own father has to beg her to come home. Brit is the Maybe sister of her and the daughter of him. Please don't do that. We've all been through so much already. I just wish she hadn't left us when she did. But I get why she did it. Do I have my black lipstick that. around? I have some. She would appreciate it. I don't know. She'd probably think I was patronizing her. Try. For me. And your mother. I just want to see your sisters close again. You'll regret it if you don't. Okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. 
Nothing occurred. Nothing matters. What is happening? Eric. We're back in this set that they already just have. You here? Because it's free. My one black lipstick. It's not Silent Hill branded. It's a uh, Kat Von D. I hear she's a Nazi now. This is old. Don't worry. It's old. <laughs> that bitch is crazy now. She may have been crazy the whole time. I don't fucking know. Toby. What are you doing here? What are you doing I, in the other, the one set we share? About what? I need your help. Yeah, sure. I heard there was some kind of meeting at the foundation. You know I can't talk about that stuff with you. But please. I think it has something to do with joy. I don't know, man. Rachel's not good. What do we have to do? Beg? Look, man, I'm not in a good place right now. And you're the only friend I got left. So just please help me out here. <sighs> okay. Okay. But you gotta get some help, man. Rachel's not gonna want me hanging out with you anymore. There's this ritual they're asking Rachel to prepare for. What kind of ritual? They don't tell me much. When is it? Tomorrow night. Thanks. Wait. Bye. Where is it? Toby. What does it entail? Toby. I'll just leave. That's all the information I need. Bye. <laughs> Never-ending goddamn fog. Joy? Every scene with this guy is the same fucking scene. It's Joy torturing him. It's the same thing every fucking time we see him. Boy, this shit gets on my lips like nobody's business. Sheesh. What's wrong? Oh, what are you shit. puking? It's not like you've never seen this before. Remember? <laughs> no, no, no. You were too drunk to even help me. What do you want from me? Answers. Justice. Blood. No, 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 she always no, says no. that. She always says that. Answers. Justice. Blood. Fairlife Nutrition Plan is a tasty shake with 30 grams of... Oh, some sort of shake. I feel like lipstick wise, the only ones that look good on me are goth as fuck. <laughs> goth as fuck. Puncture marks on your wife's body. Found puncture marks on your wife's body. The syringe Astrid turned over to us had traces of morphine. Oh my god. I oh smoked morphine with his doctor. She was never prescribed morphine. How did you get it, Carl? Did you steal it from the hospital? Your daughter's lab? There was someone or something in the house that night. I could see them through the bedroom window with Ingrid. They were... These fairy tales again, Carl. I don't know what I saw. I didn't want you to think I was crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I think, I think you are a murderer. And the only people who... Sorry to interrupt, but you need to see this. Are you sure? Yes. We checked twice. Hey, Mr. Johansson. Twice we checked. How? I... Your wife died of complications from her illness. We have no cause to hold you. Whatever that Nothing illness is. Right. For now. It was fine to not know in Silent Hill 2 because that character was so important. 
And it just like it was just like an amnesia related thing, like, oh that her illness. It doesn't matter what her illness was, but now it's just like kind of silly. Cause this character is not that important. I don't know. She does die, but ugh. Hi. I um I'm calling about um I heard you spoke to Papa about Mama. Brit? Yeah. Brit? Papa told me what happened. I'm sorry. Orson. Stay where mommy can see. How's Papa doing? Not good. He just kept talking about how it wasn't his fault. So just a regular day? Passing the blame? Anyway. I wanted to talk to you about a funeral. I know you said... I'm not coming. I told Papa so I wouldn't have to tell you. I understand. You do? Mama was terrible to you. I don't hold it against you for escaping while you could. Escape? Like how I tried to drown myself in boosts and pills to forget everything? Like how I still want to reach for a bottle, even at three months sober. I didn't escape anything, Astrid. Yeah, three months sober is a normal amount of time to still want to do that. Brit. Ooh, I fucked up. Damn it. Black lipstick is hard. Orson. Orson. Oh, this seems hilarious because it just kind of like goes and then it ends and then it's not resolved ever. If I'm, if this is the scene I'm thinking what the hell of. Is happening? Orson? Orson? Like she goes to Silent Hill, she meets somebody. Like I, I don't know. It's Norway. It's Norway though. I don't know what's going on. Ooga booga. It's Norway. More like Borway. You, you, you killed him. Better it than us. Uh, what? Where are we? Have you seen a little boy? I've seen lots of things. Seven years Maybe old. One of them was a boy. Certain color Maybe of hair. Not. Nothing's as it seems here. What is that? That's Orson's. Maybe he knows where my son is. How do you even know they're human? Here, take this. Look I, at this. I don't like weapons. You'll need it. No transition what? between passing and off. To club him over oh, she has it. She has it now. What if he knows where my son is? You see that shit? You see that shit? You see how that happened? Son is. I don't like weapons. You'll need it. You'll need it. What? What? Am I supposed to club him over the oh, head? Oh, she has it. She has it now. What if he knows where my son is? You can go right up and ask for all I care. But I'd bring that if I were you. Wait. Wait. I would love to get better at black lipstick. Are you coming home then? It's difficult. Not only condescending asshole of a sister is there, telling me how she gets me. She's just trying to. Mm -hmm. Where was that when I was in rehab, Papa? Rehab. So many people are on drugs in this. It's ridiculous. Maybe come visit me after the funeral. And like that could be a thing if like down. any of the drugs were glophitis, but they're not going for it. They're really Papa? not going for it. <laughs> I'll call you later. Eva? You should see this. <laughs> what is that? I think something fed here. Hmm. There's something out there. In the woods. Did you see something, Eva? You've seen it too. We're... It seems like we're close Where to Berry Man. We're not close to Berry Man. It's going to take us a little while to get to Berry Man, I think. I, was hoping I think there's like an episode it. or two until Berry Man happens. Kill me if she found out. 
I should take it away from you. She hasn't seen what we've seen. <sighs> I'll think on it. I said I think on it. Now go what? home. Okay. Okay, what? What? Okay. Sorry, I was mid uh concentrating stroke of my lipstick there. So I couldn't uh mute it. My bad. Don't fear the berry man. To bear witness to our beloved sister Rachel, who has come to spill her blood, not just for those gathered here, but, but for, for the sake fun of all in this town. The withering ends tonight. Oh, the withering? <laughs> now, do you have anything to say before we begin? I... I still don't know why Joy died. But my doubts, my lack of faith, have put us all at risk. So tonight, I submit myself to the purifier's cleansing judgment. Oh, the purifier? Are you ready to begin? Yes. You know what happens if the purifier judges you unfavorably? I do. Then who have you chosen to perform the ritual? I ask my fellow acolyte, Krista. I think I finally got my lipstick even enough that I don't hate it. I hoped it would be me. Because I really want to cut you. Get her! Get her, girl! I'm rooting for Krista. Krista's the real protagonist. A single Molotov in the corner. I'll beat the cult. You goddamn idiot. Toby, what are you doing? I'm fucking up. I'm looking stupid. I feel like I need deeper, darker eyeliner or the lips, though. I need something a little more extreme. Some more red, maybe. Persecuted. What the fuck is this? <laughs> This scene's hilarious. Xavier? What's happening? Eric? Eric? I just can't believe everyone, everyone pronounces it Xavier. Judgment. Doesn't sound right to me. Ah! Oh, who is she? Is that the persecutor? Are you okay? What? I... <sighs> Is this your son? Horror whip it. He says you're his mother. Oh, Another shit. person with orange skin and orange hair. wandering by the docks an hour ago. An hour? Okay, I just want to point out that, like, an autistic child wandering by the docks is, I think, unless it is a weird Eastern European, um, cliche vis-a-vis -vis children of, uh, different brains. Downpour had a side quest where there was an autistic child, uh, that had, um, uh, to fall to to make his way home had to follow these yellow ribbons and each time he saw a yellow ribbon he was supposed to turn left or so, or right or something like that and it led to a dock 
which the autistic child proceeded to walk off of and die. And it was by design, the parents or something, the caretaker of this autistic child, decided I'm going to fuck with the ribbons so this child who I have programmed to obey these laws of the ribbons will suicide himself in a tragic accident. So, yeah, that's the first, um, so far as I know, canon autism in Silent Hill, and now we're going to Orson, who they just found by the docks. Okay. He was just here. You didn't even know he was missing? Okay. Was okay. A man in the fog. Sure. You're a Johansson, aren't you? I know about you and your family. I'm supposed to hate you. I called child services. Wait, what? You were gone a while. Mama, are you mad at me? It was just a game. Yes. No, Angel. I'm not mad. Anyway, I'm sure they'll contact you. Given your family's history. What is I it? Just you tell them what they need to hear. I lost my ball. That's What's okay, this? Angel. I'll get you a new one. Are they gonna come take me away? No, sweetheart. I God, I hope so. You're so weird. God, I hope they take you away. You're weird as fuck looking. He has like makeup on or something. He's always serving cunt. Like, you'll see it later that he's just got like incredibly fierce eyebrows. Oh God. What did I walk into? I I don't know. Rachel, Rachel. Are you okay? You were screaming. Did did you see it? No, baby. I didn't see anything. No, you're crazy and full of shit. I'm normal and not in the cult, so I didn't see any of that shit. I love how the fire extinguisher looks like it is expelling fire. Like, just check out this fire extinguisher. I think it looks like it's spewing fire. fuck, Toby? You almost killed us, man! You have no idea what happened here. Do you? Make a flame throw I, I knew that some fucked up shit was happening in here. But that's somebody, all I knew. And I came in with shit. a Molotov. What do you want? I'm not be quiet about it. No one will believe you. We'll see about that. Make sure he leaves the property. Don't you fucking touch me. Don't you fucking touch me. He saw it too. We all did. It's spreading. I warned you about her, Xavier. I knew this would happen. Krista. Are you really still Chris is right. After everything we just enough. Rachel Chris is right. right. Chris is the Could protagonist of this for me. Radcliffe's teachings are clear. Yet we cannot deny what we've seen tonight. Go home. Get what rest you can. But Barbara, we, we will stop. Oh, what oh, oh, we will stop. I Monday to Friday and we I will stop. To switch out my lunch. Right there. I'm looking for my eyebrow pencil because I feel like I need to do that to bring the whole thing together. Eyebrows, I've learned, are more important than you think for bringing the whole face together. No, you didn't miss something. This just you happens. Everything too. keeps happening. And let's not forget that lunatic who fucking firebombed us. That's enough. Here it is. The withering has spread to us. Oh, the withering? The has to be stopped. And what about Rachel? The blight? Is she blighted now too? Oh, Rachel blighted. Has been chosen by the purifier. Oh, purifier! She... Wait, 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 wait. The source of the withering has oh. yet to be wait, found. Wait, shit! Wait, shit! Until no. then, we must wait, remain united. Wait, wait, vigilant. What? And what about Toby? Huh? Did I accidentally sample what I was hearing? Which, 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 which? <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Uh -huh. 
I was so busy going back and forth that something uh peculiar occurred. Huh? What? Uh sampler, what happened? Which 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 Um, okay, uh, reverse air horn should be there. Not this. Can I delete that? Which? <laughs> can I please? Can I delete that? How do I delete that? Which, which, which? <laughs> which? <laughs> How did I do this? I, if you asked me to do this on the fly, I would not have known how to do it. Um, wow, that is fascinating. Uh, can I please get rid of this? Okay, uh, what if I clear that? Okay, I cleared it and I can put reverse air horn on it. I think I fixed it. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, let's go back and do it all correctly. Minded. Vigilant. And what about Toby? Whether we like it or not, he's in this now too. Toby will continue to complicate things. He should be dealt with first. Kept on a tight leash. He and Eric are friends. Is he blighted? I can get him to talk to Toby. Does he know the purifier? Lay low. Good. Use their friendship to get him to see reason. No. Toby is unpredictable. He's captive to his emotions. We need to keep him calm. Humor him. <laughs> Am I the only one who was paying attention? Toby thinks we summoned a monster. That we can control it. We can use that. <sighs> I'll talk to Eric. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> who cares? Who fucking cares? Everything's dumb and fake. Here's Captain Wacky as the, as the damn idiot working at the gas station. You really messed up this time. You're paying for that, Sorelli. <laughs> it's not my fault. You you didn't see it. <gasps> always running, always numbing. You can't keep running, Toby. It's your fault. You can't keep running and numbing. Me. The middle. It's not my fault! Hey, do I gotta call the cops? I'm sure they'd love to get the call. Please do! I put you away after that shit you pulled at the mill. Yeah, you think I forgot about that? You think this town's forgotten? Look, I'm trying to make it right. You wanna make things right? <laughs> the single handed Maybe man who destroyed past? a steel mill. You start by taking responsibility. Apologize to the people you hurt. Apologize? They should be saying sorry to me. Anything goes wrong in this town. It's always Toby fucking Sorelli. <laughs> Even when I'm doing something right, it's wrong. You think what you did at the mill <laughs> is right? I'm done being this town's whipping boy. I'll make peace with my past by doing what I always do. Telling it to fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Tony Sorelli. <laughs> I'm walking here. I'm traumaing here. Eee. Is that their grave? Most people can look hot if they put enough makeup on. <laughs> Feels like I should give it a proper burial. What do you think? What is this, this area? I found a dead rabbit once. Oh, here she goes. It was gutted head to toe. I didn't even recognize it, just met it with fur and flesh. So I scooped it up. Thank you, TWE. TWD Industries. Mama was very angry with Amma. me. Maybe what killed that rabbit did this too. The people around here don't like my family very much. For some reason! This wouldn't be the first time we've been harassed. Why are they angry with you? Don't know! It's getting dark. Literally know. don't know and will never tell you. I, I will never that. tell you why. So you'll teach me to shoot? No. I haven't decided. But you said it's not safe. Eva, I yeah, it's not safe to teach you how to shoot. It 
No, I know that guy. Don't shoot him. He's cool. I missed. Go home, Eva. But I said go home. Fascinating. The incredible. Weren't you thrilled? So can you. Weren't you beside yourself with, with trauma like tra trauma and tension and angst and all sorts of fun stuff that stories have, narratives? have and occur therein episode 11 guess who's haunting toby it's joy his sister as always justice blood yeah blood yeah oh this scene's funny this scene is super funny to me look i'm sorry for everything i was a shitty brother i know that I can't change what I did, what I didn't do, but I'm asking you to forgive me. Can't that be enough? Joy? This scene is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> sure. Sure. Hello, Toby. No. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Sure, why not? Sure. Yeah, okay. What's happening? Huh? Okay. It's fine. No, it's fine. I don't mind it at all, it's fine. This dry dock. A literal dry dock. There's no water there. So, so sorry I'm late. Another client went over our Another time. client. Oh, you Aurora from the Bonavane. From the Bonavane. <laughs> sorry. I had an image in Hello. Hello. I do so in butter. Cryptic. Ready to snatch your Feels like these episodes me? always manage to end right when the action starts to actually how, pick up. How convenient. And then it doesn't pick up where it left off, does it? It, it goes to someone else that wasn't the action point. The it's on now, purpose. Can you talk to me about what happened when you lost track of your son? Aurora from the Bonne Vault. I turned around for a second and he was gone. The fog was really thick that day. Given there that we live in lot of fog in this town, Norway. I trouble with it myself today. Norway. I'll consider that in my report, but that's no excuse going forward. You need to keep a closer eye on your child. <laughs> now, about the person who reported the incident. They said you were hiding away from the crowd. Oh wow! Okay. Why was that? Obvious. Do you see how the, the music cut out in a weird way? It was an obvious, like, delineation between, like, what will this person do? How will she do the scene with this person? And hence the audio uh, cuts out. Uh, you need to keep a close eye music. on your child. Now, about the person who reported the incident. They said you were hiding. Gone. Yeah. Away from the crowd. Why was that? Uh, obviously, that's ridiculous. I'm an I'm audio editor people. for Skull Tenders. I can hear it. No, I. Get on my level. May I meet him? Of course. Orson, can you come here, Angel? No! I am playing with trains crashing them into each other. Ah, the I noise is terrible. Listen. Ah, I love trains. I, I lost my ball. Uh-oh. Well, where could it be? I gave it to Zane, but he lost it. Look at this child's eyebrows. They are so fierce. Unbelievably cunty eyebrows on this child. That's his imaginary friend. Now I don't have anything to play with. Orson, you have plenty of toys. 
He really does. Orson. Because I wanted to share with Zane. Orson, stop serving well, that Gant, Orson. A very nice thing to do. Orson, why don't you play close by while Aurora and I finish chatting? And he vanishes in the fog. It takes child neglect seriously. While this lady is like, better keep an eye on your kid. Absolutely necessary. I did not neglect my child. I'd like to set a few. I did not neglect my child. By the way, I don't know where they are right now. I cannot see them. Maybe you can start with a gesture to show that his needs are important. What if you bought him presents? You mentioned wanting the new toy. He's always been drawn to my child with dolls. My mother ridiculed him for it, but. I suppose with her gone, there's no harm in it. He has to have some nice memories of her. Maybe a doll that helps him remember her fondly. He's close with my father. Maybe a little hunter. Even for a child service yeah, person, you're having pretty fucking guns. nosy. Even <laughs> Lady. I understand you're a scientist. That's a wonderful thing for a child to aspire to. I try not to smother him with my influence. Bad memories from my mother. Oh, it never ends. I'll be in touch soon to set a follow up. Until then. Bye. Thanks for meeting with me at four in the morning on this uh, foggy dock, I guess. I don't know. But, uh... You owe me. You owe me. You owe me. Good to be home, huh? God, so I hate these two. What happened the other night? How did Toby know about the ritual? <gasps> hey, you're home. Hi, yes. Steve. I was scared today. But then I remember the girl in the stone castle. <laughs> That's good, honey. Remember, the purifier keeps us safe. <gasps> purifier. Really? Go get your PJs on. I'll be in soon. Okay. He begged me, Rach. He's in a really bad place. I had to tell him something. That's exactly what makes him dangerous. He's taking advantage of you, Eric. Playing off your empathy. He just... seems so desperate. I kept thinking about when we all first met, how we were all... friends. And then the call came into our lives Maybe and made everything so bad. Back to that. You know that's never going to happen. Yeah. I know. <sighs> I swear, one day you'll let someone pull on your heartstrings so hard they'll rip your whole heart out. Like me, your wife, I I'm doing to it. To Toby. I need to talk to Toby. About what? Get him to back down. Try to reason with him. Tell him he's going to end up hurting a lot of innocent people. I can give it a try. What? What? Don't try. Do it. What? People are depending on us. <sighs> okay. And don't tell him any more stuff about us. Stuff. About foundation. We can't trust him. This is weird because I have heard the word fuck. In this. So this lady is saying stuff in a way that sounds like she's avoiding getting like an M rating is really funny because definitely people have been saying fuck. <laughs> yeah, Toby is a suppressive person. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. No, okay, uh-huh. We, we've we got like a, it's a it's a mix of uh, Caliban from uh, Origins and uh, Pyramid Head with the, the big weird head, so the butcher uh, with the big weird head, but also, uh, you know, it being square is very much uh, the safe-headed guy from The Evil Within 2. You know, it's a... Uh, what a fun guy. And yeah, this is not canon. This doesn't happen. None of these people are going through this. It's not real. I just want to show you because I like the like showing the scant times you see the monsters are in these non-canon portions of the game. What? <laughs> So far as I know, it's not even a dream. It's just literally 
absolutely outside of canon. I do not know and I don't understand whatsoever what the point is of this besides putting something in this game that resembles a game and not just you're watching a soap opera. Huh? Anyway, some ad is probably gonna happen. Christmas, did you know it exists? Do you know you can buy things during it? For Christmas? Christmas? Episode 12. Oh. <laughs> Finally writing that novel? Yeah, yeah. Something like that? No, yeah, I am. What the hell is this? My testimony. Some reporter's gonna hear my story and finally blow the lid right the fuck off. About yeah, all my insane doodles are gonna really blow the lid off this. Crazy napkin story, Sorelli. FBI was interested. Because he wrote a manifesto, dude. We need to talk. About what? Episode 12 out of, I think, 25. For that crazy shit they conjured. I know you're in pain, man. But going after the foundation isn't going to bring your sister back. You Thing is, is that they're five minutes long from here on out, I think. Innocent people. Yeah, this is 550. You think I care if anyone in the foundation gets hurt? You want my little girl caught up in all this, Toby? My little girl. You know, for a minute there, you had me going, Hernandez. But words are coming out of your mouth, and all I hear is Rachel. They're the words of someone who wants to protect his friend. If we were friends, you would have left the Foundation as soon as you found out they killed my sister! Come on, man. You know it's more complicated than that. He's right! Or is that what your bitch of a wife tells you all the He's right! All this coming from the friend who played off my sympathy and begged me to betray my wife? Wake the fuck up, man! The Foundation... Literally, what is that guy saying? He's right. Toby's right. What is he saying? What is he saying? Off my sympathy and begs me. Yeah, for some reason, the subtitles just stop there. I don't know why. If we were friends, you would have let the foundation. Not, not on me. Out, they killed my sister. Come on, man. You know it's more complicated than that. Is it? Or is that what that? your bitch of a wife tells you while she's got your balls in a vice? He's right. All this coming from the friend who played off my sympathy and begged me to betray my wife? Wake the fuck up, man. <sighs> the Foundation's crazy shit is out now. I'm going to make sure of it. And when things finally go down, I don't want you caught up in it. Yeah, thanks for the concern. I mean it, Eric. you got to wake up, man. They're going to get you and your kid killed. If you can't see that... <laughs> I'll make you understand. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe the next scene will have normal closed captioning on it. You want me to do what? There you go. I want you to recruit Toby. Into the foundation? What? Right. You want him here after everything he did? What I want is for you to have faith in me. He threw a Molotov cocktail into our ritual where everyone that I think is in the cult was hanging out. He threw a Molotov cocktail into it. Bring him in. I like his chutzpah. What could I even say to convince him? I love your Molotov. Come on in. <laughs> convince him the Foundation can offer him protection. He thinks we're the cause. Yeah, the you are! She wouldn't have died if you... <laughs> Show him we can wield more than just words. Wouldn't that just drive him away? <sighs> he thinks you've wronged him. Maybe if you showed remorse for Joy's death, he'd be more amenable. I don't know, Xavier. This doesn't feel right. Xavier. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. Okay, sure. Good. <laughs> Don't mention this to Barbara. For now at least. Who the fuck is Barbara? Who is that? I do not know who Barbara is. I've watched this before and I do not know who that is. 
Does anyone in the chat know who Barbara is? Some other cult idiot? One of the elders? By elders, I mean someone else who's like 22. What now? Back to Norway. I say in a Finnish accent because I don't think a Norwegian accent is uh, something I have in my repertoire. Aye, aye, aye. Eva, stop this. If you won't do it, I'll teach myself. Eva, stop. You don't know what it's like to be scared all of the time. I do know. More <sighs> than you think. I'll teach you. Now, take a deep breath. Good. Now exhale. Slow. Now go on and squeeze the trigger. Good. Good. The key is to aim for I do not know how old she's like supposed to be. Heart. One shot. Having a clue. One kill. But that will take some practice. Not a damn clue. Can I go again? <laughs> it's killing late. You should head home. Oh, and don't tell your mother. Thank you. Very peculiar shotgun. It's a vertically barreled shotgun instead of your standard horizontally double barreled shotgun. It's very strange. Famous horse. Oh my goodness, a famous horse is here? To what do I owe oh, the honor of a famous horse? Please Thanks for the raid. We're just riffing on this terrible bullshit. You still had a spare key by and I have uh, put on the Silent Hill makeup palettes oh. throughout the course of the stream. All Can three of them. Oh, yes. <sighs> They're ugly and stupid for the most part. I mean, this I'm one's sorry. okay because there's variety. I don't know. Tell Just watch the VOD if you care about makeup. I, I hardly do, so. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Found me from the Silent Hill topic on Twitter. Ayo. Ugh. These ads don't go away. Somehow it's been four hours, right? Okay, this one's two minutes and 32 seconds long. Huh? Why are the ending credits happening? 13. Five minutes. They're all five minutes long from here on out, okay? I know you all got excited that we were free. We're not free. I'm sorry. We're still stuck in Silent Hill. Bad style. Not interesting style. Not philosophical style. Bad style. And I know you were scared when you confronted <laughs> me the other day. Yeah. So this is the scene where I feel like this kid time. looks like he we're has a ton to of makeup on and he is serving. Get ice cream. Yeah. But first, ice cream. He's looking fabulous. Is all I'm saying. Look, at the oh, he's Conti. Friend, and look, I made him a hunter, just like Grandpa. I don't know how any of this guy green <laughs> He's beautiful. This child, this child has completely tweezed brows, man. Does he shoot the rabbit? I think he just likes to watch them play. Bang, bang, bang. You're dead. Bang, bang, bang. You're dead. For some reason, the social worker told her she should give him toys that interested him. So she gave him like a shooter, a hunter toy. And now she's disturbed okay, that she did that because uh, she's incredibly dumb. Okay. What do you say we go get that? Ice the berry cream? man is soon. Okay. I feel like the, the berry man is decently soon. We better get going. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like we could speed this up by. Not this again. Come on, Arson. Mama, what's going on? Let's, let's okay. one point five speed this up. The bus is right over here. What? It's okay. I got you. This it's scene okay. is never resolved. I, go home? I know, Angel, but I need you to be a brave boy, okay? 
this scene it is not resolved the next time you see her she's just normal and showing up somewhere never mentioned what happened there how she got out of it what was wrong nothing not me i believe you you're a good man my sister was lucky to have you <sighs> look at that i've been going on forever i'm just glad i'm still alive to listen you could have killed me you know <laughs> i i'm sorry Fuck. I haven't been myself lately. What the fuck? I'm, you off. I'm not going anywhere. Though I do need to figure out where I'm staying. When I heard Um, this lady is the sister of Ingrid. His wife, who he allegedly killed. I don't think he did. I think I think his daughter killed her. Uh, but Ingrid was ranting and raving about how he had a big crush on her sister instead, and never would she ever be with him, you loser, etc. Uh, that's the context of that. Unfortunately, we only have the one hotel in town. And it's made of ice. You know, I've got plenty of room here. Uh, stupid question. What do these two stories have to do with each other? Um, I want to tell you, it's not a stupid question. The answer is nothing! 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 They have nothing. I'm sorry. My my makeup mirror. My makeup mirror is in the way. Nothing. They have nothing to do with each other. Nothing to do with each other. I have no idea what this Norway bullshit has to do with this Pennsylvania bullshit. I have no clue. I would love to know, and I don't think they're going to tell us until March, February, because it goes until April. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Loading. Oh, I don't want any ghosts, and I'm not sure Austin would be comfortable with it. I think she's still. <sighs> that was a long time ago. I'm sure she's over it by now. Austin's her mother's daughter and my niece. We are notorious for our grudges. Maybe you could stay with her. Astrid's my mother's daughter. Wait, hang on. I know we're going like almost double speed, but I just want to appreciate how much that was uh, incredibly obvious exposition right there to say Astrid is her mother's daughter and also my niece is an incredibly stilted way to establish your family relationships. And my niece. <laughs> We are notorious for our grudges. Maybe you could stay with her. Heal some old wounds. I don't think you've met Orson yet. He's very sweet. I don't know. I'm sure I can get used to the hotel. How cold could it be? Listen, don't go The ice the hotel. Place. Let me think on this. There's no reason a family should go sleeping in a hotel. We need each other. Let alone no an ice else. hotel. Yes, we do. Because they have an ice hotel. For some reason. This makes tons of sense to do at 1.5 speed. Look, I got something I need to say. Back in the okay, laundromat, the these two. We've seen some shit. Some of it we caused. Rachel, she's using you, man. You're just another rung she'll climb to get what she wants. <sighs> but not before she gets you and your kid killed. <laughs> I used to think Rachel was overreacting when she'd talk about you. Eric. But you'll just keep coming back, keep talking shit about my wife, my family. <laughs> If you're making me choose. She sucks. <laughs> He's right. He's right. She sucks. <laughs> it's only like a little bit more funny. Um, I do so enjoy when it's in fast forward. I figured it out. The script said a nice hotel, but someone heard an ice hotel. That's the only explanation. There you go. I think you've you've cracked the code there. <laughs> Fine cat. <laughs> oh Just my tell. god. I'm leaving. I think he said fuck this town, I'm leaving. I don't know. Yeah, just keep moseying. I want Wait, a full scene of moseying. Ha <laughs> ha 
It's funnier a little faster because you can tell how bad the mocap is. Hey! <gasps> Hello? Could you help me? I uh, I don't know which way I'm going. But yeah, please. that's what I thought. Is he shitting his pants? But he's I, supposed I to know. just be like drunk. You're, you're Tony. Walking around. I think that was the guy from the very, very beginning. Like the very beginning, like the first person you see, but it's not important. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, remember how uh, how she was uh, carrying Orson in the fog and scared and running and everything was repeating. It was super scary. Here she is. Here she is now. Nothing ha uh, uh, wh what happened in the previous scene? How did it conclude? And where is your child? Yeah, where is Orson? So for the longest time, a couple episodes, I was like, oh, where's Orson? Is this like a twist? Like she killed Orson or something? It was like a fucked up thing. But then like later on, Orson just shows up in a scene. They just forgot that Orson existed and the previous scene happened. Papa, I... Hello, Astrid. Hello, Astrid. It's good to see you. What are you doing here? I had to, my aunt. Today. Just for a few nights. My you sexy are, aunt coming on to nice. my f my Actually, papa. Your old room was very comfortable. My room. Right. So How dare you sleep in my room that I don't sleep in no more? Oh, that's not necessary. Oh, oh. We couldn't animate the suitcase opening up, but oh, here's some morphine. Oh. Why would you carry this with you? You know what it's like to work in a hospital. Did you know one day I somehow came home with a used scalpel? Mama had traces of morphine in her system when she died. Yes, because Carl had been administering it. She died because of her illness. I think Papa should know about this. But why? It will just make him upset. Aunt Meta? Astrid, I don't care for your tone of voice right now. Astrid, is that you? In here. Astrid's just helping me with my bags. Uh-huh. Oh my god. What is Xavier thinking? Recruiting Toby? Xavier. And why is he trusting Rachel of all people to do this? First Joy's death? No, Krista's the only that's real that's one in this game. I, I'm i only invested in Krista, which was not the intention of the developers for me to care about her. It's true. Xavier believes I can. Xavier is lying to himself. What are you going to do? Apologize to Toby? He doesn't trust you, and he's not going to start now. He's seen the withering, just like us. <gasps> withering? Protect him. protect him? We don't even know how it happened. And the others might buy Xavier's bullshit that you've been chosen by the purifier, but I don't. You are going to fail. And when you do... The foundation, this town, your family, they'll be gone, Rachel. The sooner I make Xavier and Barbara understand that, the better the shot we have at stopping all of this. I'm trying to save everyone, even you. I've had enough of the whole savior bit. When this is all over, you'll be thanking me. Don't count on it. Oh, Chris is cool. It's Not gonna lie, uh, Krista, uh, kinda is cool. I like her. Krista kind of kicks ass. <laughs> she was not designed to be good. Yeah. How obnoxious is that? Did you notice? Did you notice it? <laughs> How obnoxious is that? <laughs> Fuck you, right? Right? Get the fuck out of here with that! Fuck you! That her... Okay. Her ringtone... Is the Silent Hill 1 theme song. The, the mandolin. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You hear it? You hear it? They did it. They done it. They did it. They done it. They thought that was enough to win us over. How rude. They thought that was enough yeah. to make us like them. <laughs> Hello? To have us give them points in a scene 
where she's about to run into a drug dealer hey. that wants her blood hey. for no reason. And she's like, okay. I, I don't think so. You were Joy's dealer. She told me about you. Look, I, I haven't seen her in months. Not since she joined the foundation. Yeah, we helped her get clean. You're Rachel? Yeah. Toby talks about you sometimes. Toby. We helped her get clean. But at the very start of this, it was like none of the other treatments have worked. None of the other treatments have worked. We have to resort to the, the purifier. We have to resort to the purifier because none of the treatments have worked. I need to find him. Yeah, he looks like Scott he Adams. He doesn't like you very You're much. You're right. But he listens to me. He likes me. Listen, I need Toby to do something for me. Would you help me talk to him? <sighs> Fine. How much? Also, reminder that I'm playing this at 1.5 speed. It, it sounds also quite bad at normal speed, but uh, I just want it to be over faster. What? Money. Use it to buy more drugs. Whatever you want. Just help me, please. Getting high sometimes stops them from coming. Or maybe I just don't notice them. Blood. I need yours. What? So that seems like something that is uh, foreshadowing an actual reference to the game, which is a Glophidus. A Glophidus being like this uh, ceremonial religious thing that keeps demons at bay. This drug that keeps demons at bay. And they don't do it, though. So far, they've not done it. From them. Please, just a little, a drop, and I'll help you. Give me your blood on the street. Okay. Astrid? No, Orson. You know how I feel. Is there anything I can do to help? It is just really funny that Asher was just like, I don't want you where my son and is still hanging around the guy that she thinks killed her mom. And also she is really shady toward her aunt because she's like, oh, my dad and my aunt have like a thing and I hate all these people. Why is she showing up for anything that's insane to do? Yes. No, I just missed the boy. That's not my problem. I hope you slept okay last night, Meta. The house can creak. Yes, the bed in Austin's old room is very comfortable. Yeah, I know. Don't sulk, Astrid. Your teen years are far behind you. Perhaps we can all sit down for a big family dinner tonight. It's a shame Brit isn't here. Like, it just sounds... it sounds like AI. Right? It just sounds like it. That sounds lovely. But... But? But Meta has something to share with you first. Okay. I... I found morphine in her purse. Just like what they found in Mama. Surely you're not suggesting Meta had anything to do with this. I'm just telling you what I saw, Papa. Also, where where would she have been during that? And I'm surprised she didn't already share it with you. I explained this already to us there. Then explain it to me. I insist. I love that Sh Meta is the only person that pronounce, pronounces Astrid as like a way more accented version of Astrid. I'm gonna I'm go back. I explained this already to Ostre. 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 She says. You what I saw, Papa. And I'm surprised she didn't already share it with you. I explained this already to Ostre. Ostre. I insist. Ostre. Everyone else calls her Astrid or Astrid. Ostre. The Ice Hotel. It's real. Ice Hotel. I hope my explanation for the morphine was enough for you. Of course, my friend. I'm glad we could air that out. And you could look past Ostrid's deliberate attempts to hurt me. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve that. She's her mother's child, that's for sure. I can't believe she's still angry with you. That happened over a decade ago. Carl, she doesn't want me here. Well, I do. Things will get better. I know they will. At least you're keeping me company. I hope the farm hasn't spooked you too much. It's more isolated than I expected. I worry about you living there alone. Well, I'm not alone now. What's wrong? I haven't mentioned this to Astrid. You can tell me. The night Imagine how long that was on not fast speed. <laughs> like, it's just really obvious that they have, like, really tried to stretch everything out in every time. way. 
I thought for sure I saw somebody up in our room. But I thought the police said... I know what they said. But I also know what I saw. And whoever or whatever it is has been back. More than once. It killed some of my goats. Probably wild animals. You could set some traps to catch them. And what if I catch Orson? Lila then misused to having free run of the farm. If he stumbles on one of those things, and what if it's not an animal? Traps won't catch man. Astrid once told me to set up cameras on the farm, but I don't like the idea of turning it into some kind of prison. <sighs> Leo has suggested an algis room for protection. An algis? A room of protection. Anal jizz. Anal jizz. Anal jizz. A room of protection. The idea of turning it into some kind of prison. Well, you know how I feel on the matter. Leo has suggested an algis room for protection. An al- Peace? Anal jizz. Anal- Anal jizz! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm actually leaning on the Isle of Eggs button. My bad. Anal jizz is what I meant. Anal jizz. A room of protection. Carl isn't dealing with animals or vandals. I think it's something else. Something much worse. What makes you say that? Because people talk. Especially to me. People been seeing things. Things they can't explain. So take my advice. Hey, my question is, why do we have a fucking ice hotel? In a random podunk. Town in ice, uh, Iceland, not Iceland, Norway. Uh, do, why is there an ice hotel? And it was like posited previously that it's just like the only hotel here to go to is the goofy ice hotel that fancy people, I presume, go to. Not normal people. You're not like normally you know, cruising around like, oh, I need to go to like a Days Inn or a Holiday Inn or some shit or like, you know, whatever. Oh, here's an ice hotel. I'll stay in the ice hotel. It's the same price as a Days Inn or some shit. Why is there an ice hotel here? I'm mad about it. <laughs> a nice hotel. Ice. What? Do you believe him? I don't know what to believe in. But I do know a rune won't do a damn thing to scare off a wolf. Neither will a camera. Guess I'll a have to figure camera. out before whatever it is comes back. If you have not tried their bras yet, you need to. Pepper is just like, yeah, tourism, of course. But what? Just a drop. This guy got to be in multiple scenes, right? Whoever he is, this whale, this particular whale, if you don't know, I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to reiterate it. Silent Hill Ascension is a pay to play a video game where it's just like it's a telltale thing and you can uh, you do have an avatar that you can customize and if you spend enough influence points the fake currency of the game on uh voting on things that will happen to the characters um you can potentially be put into a lottery to appear in the game as a cameo and whenever this shows up come on this casa duel as dealer that is like some person some person decided that their avatar just looks like this and this person who designed their avatar to look like this uh they spent enough money that they were in the running to be in you know the the picking for being a random npc and uh yikes the thing is that you're gonna you're gonna notice, especially in these earlier episodes. Maybe when we get to episode 100 or something, there'll be a lot more variance in the details. But they all have these fucking glasses because they're easy to get. Just a drop. Fine. Jesus. 
Fine. I have a knife in my pocket. I'll do it. Now take me to Toby. This way. No. God damn it. No. Lost in the fucking fog for hours. And now this. I got nothing else to say to you, Rachel. Toby, wait. Just now I gotta go get a fucking fuck pizza. She helped Joy get clean. She helped me. Maybe she can help you. <sighs> She helped Joy get clean. Remember how the very first scene said none of the other treatments have worked? I presume that was about her not getting clean because that was her main problem. So everyone's lying to each other or just the AI who has written half of this thing? My presumption, of course. Asterisk on all I have said. I'm presuming this is AI related because it just sucks so bad that I, I don't want to imagine a human has had any part in it. But like, huh? Are you keeping track of stuff? Did she get clean when she was purified by the purifier? I don't know. Fine. I think you should join us. <laughs> the cult that murdered my sister wants me to join them. What can I say to get you to join? That I'm an asshole? <sighs> Fine, I'll say it. I'm an asshole. That's it? I'm demanding and controlling and I ruined your life. There. Satisfied? Look, I can't change the things that have happened, but I'm trying to make it right. We both know what happens when we work together. People die. Not this time. Not any time. Toby, wait. What? Okay, 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 okay. Quiz. Quiz for the chat. The last scene Astrid was in, where was she? And was she en route somewhere? Was she en route here? Yeah. Yeah, she was at the house. She was at the house and she didn't have Orson, but she was at the house and nothing was amiss. She wasn't worried about Orson. It seemed like she knew where Orson was. But remember that last time you saw her, um, uh, it was not congruent with the previous scene where she was lost in the fog with Orson. Now she's back in the same area that she had Orson with and is lost in the fog again. What is happening? And it's not an acute scene. Oh, it's a David Lynchian thing. Uh, the, the. Anthony, are you following me? And the cop is here. I need to speak with you. About what? Olivia, what's going on? <sighs> Has been a mix up at the morgue. A mix up? What does that mean? My mother's there. That's it. Um, we're not sure she's there anymore. You lost my mother's body? <coughs> I'm sure it's just a minute of error. Are you to believe that? It's not like she got up and walked away. Oops. I'm sorry. That Unless she did. The number of people who would love to humiliate my family, my mother, even in death. Your name would be high. What did you do? Looks, but I take the integrity of this job seriously. So you screwed up and you want me to just look the other way? You have every right to be upset, but I wanted you to hear it from me. I'm not sure what happened, but give me a few days and I promise you we will get this sorted out. What do I tell my father? Tell him everything is fine. Everything is not fine. It feels like his mind is hanging by a thread as it is. Look, if you don't trust me, trust the department. You think I can tell him that? After everything you put him through? I just... We don't have to be enemies, Astrid. I'll think about it. Thank you. I'll be in touch soon. Here, Joy, please, just let me leave. I was like you when I first came here. Desperate. They used me, Toby. Broke me. But now you can make things right. Make them trust you. Think you really believe. And then? 
You break them. It has to be done. They've hurt too many people, Toby. I'll make everything right, Joey. I promise. I'll make them... Toby? Did you want to come in? Krista. The actual protagonist, Krista. Always had my routine on my brain. This is just enough. This is so stupid. <sighs> it's almost time for the Berry Man. You're, We're so close. Is We're so working? close to the Berry Man. Papa, Mama's body is missing. Hogan tried to get me to stay quiet about it, but I don't think we can trust the police. She, Hogan lost your mother's body? Someone with the police did. The point is, we can't rely on them. You know why, don't you? Because the police are working with the vandals. We're beset on all sides, Astrid. We need to stay calm, be smart, and hopefully... Astrid, you don't understand what I've been dealing with here. There's a concerted effort to bring down this family. It's converging on this farm, and I need to make a stand. What did you do? What did you do? I need to focus on... What's wrong farm. with this family? What did you do? Papa, I don't think you're dealing with anything more than vandals. We've had issues with harassment before. I think this is different. You think? But you don't know. Set up some cameras. Get some hard proof. You could catch whoever it is in the act. Or whatever. You tried to recruit Toby? It's what Xavier wanted. What did you say? I tried apologizing, but Toby wouldn't budge. Well, you're not exactly his favorite person. <sighs> I don't know, Rage. Ever since your ritual, things have felt off. I mean, I have some ideas, but are you ever going to tell what really happened that night? Eric, you know I can't tell you that. Why? <sighs> Why not? I'm your husband. Toby warned me about this. He said you were using me to get what you want at the foundation. Toby will say- Look, he absolutely flip-flops back and forth between uh, supporting his normal-ass friend and his horrifically bad wife. Anything to hurt me. You know that. He said you were gonna get me and Faith killed. Rachel, are we okay? We're gonna be fine. I promise. But right now, I need to figure out what to tell Xavier. <sighs> Can't you just apologize and move on? Does everything have to be so serious all the time? Xavier is a man of conviction. He expects the same of me. I just wish he'd own up to what he's put our family through. Mommy? We'll be okay. The purifier, I, can protect us. I did it. The purifier. You really think we're going to find something out here? Whatever's been having a go with my goats, there should be signs of it. Having a go at my you goats? Go. Ew. Feel safe. I can't. Your mother kick you out again? She thinks I'm bad. Did you do something bad? Do you think I'm bad? Yo! This is what I'm talking about when I say this is made by AI. This is an incredibly AI as fuck exchange. Can you, like, there, th no human would write this, right? Unless they suck so bad as to be mistaken for a computer. This is, let's listen to it in normal speed, even. All right, um, you know, we've been listening to it at 1.5 for a while. Let's change it to normal. Take in with the idea in your head, the notion that what if a computer did this? And it is absolutely insanely obvious to me a computer did this. This is not how people talk. And it's not in a way that it's just like, oh, the, the Silent Hill is uncanny. It's supposed to be uncanny. People are supposed to be peculiar and strange. No, not like this. Not like this. You really think we're going to find something out here? Whatever's been having a go at my goats, there should be signs of it. You should go home. This doesn't feel safe. I can't. Your mother kick you out again? She thinks I'm bad. Did you do something bad? Do you think I'm bad? <laughs> you remember huh? what I told you. One shot, one kill. It references isn't really a thing. But... Huh? Wait! Don't 
Bury man! Please! What are you doing out here? You could have been killed. I, I, I'm just foraging for wild berries. I swear. I stumbled on a great patch of rowan berries over here. Have you seen anything unusual out here? Now that you mention it, I have seen some strange things out in these woods. You? I've been rooting for berries and other things for several Okay. <laughs> I can't. It's so funny. It's so funny. I love Berry Man so much. I he's, he's awful. I love him. Oh, I'm crying. The unstiltedness. Just the the. This conversation is so unnatural, it doesn't even qualify as stilted, right? It's so, st it's stupid. It's not stilted, it's stupid. I, you know, Smevel, I don't know if the AI is, it's also the voice. I don't know. I really don't know. I can't personally tell if a voice is AI because I have like audio processing issues, but like sometimes I can tell and sometimes it's not obvious at all. But like, I, I don't know. I just, it's just, it's so bad. It's so stupid. But the thing I'm talking about, and it's not, the thing I'm talking about is not voice acting. I'm talking about how stupid stupid and weird this is in a way that is not you know uh, pairing up with like the previously established even how silent hill 2 lovers are so like this is intentional everything everything is a 40 chess intentionality to it even those people i feel like it's just like you can't say this is like a 40 chess thing where they're trying to be uncanny. It's just stupid. It's bad. I hate it. What is this berry man? What are you doing out here? What? <laughs> you could have been killed. I, I, I'm just foraging for wild berries. I swear. I stumbled on a great patch of rowan berries over here. Have you seen anything unusual out here? Now that you mention it. I have seen some strange things out in these woods. You? 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 Watch what happens. I've been rooting for berries and other things for several seasons now. He doesn't wait for an answer. <laughs> I like to make jams. I sell them in town. I could bring you some. Maybe you and your family would like that. You should keep moving. You're on my property. Well, I am sorry for that. I guess I'll just be on my way then. What? 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 We're just going back. I've had enough of these books for today. Okay. What? Huh? Huh? They went to the woods and nothing happened. Smite! Welcome! You came in! At the best moment, which is the berry man. Oh my God. Thank you for the raid. I love you deeply. What a swell guy. My goodness. Um, you literally came in when we were discussing how stupid the stupidest scene is of this. You really think we're going to find something out here? Whatever's been having a go at my goats, there should be signs of it. You should go home. This doesn't feel safe. AI bullshit here. Your mother kick you out again? She thinks I'm bad. Did you do something bad? Do you think I'm bad? There's no way an AI didn't write that exchange. That sucks so much. You remember what I told you? One shot, one kill. She says with a very placid smile on her horrific face. Wait! Don't shoot! Please! What are you doing out here? You could have been killed. I, I, I'm just foraging for wild berries. I swear. I stumbled on a great patch of rowan berries over here. 
Have you seen anything unusual out here? Now that you mention it, I have seen some strange things out in these woods. Will I expound upon them though? Stay tuned. You? I've been rooting for no. berries and other things for several seasons now. I like to make jams. I sell them in town. I could bring you some. <laughs> Maybe you and your family would like that. You should keep moving. You're on my property. Well, I am sorry for that. I guess I'll just be on my way then. What? Huh? We're just going back. What? I've had enough of these woods for today. What? Huh? Huh? What? Wait, no. Huh? Come back. What happened? What? How? how did no. No. You cannot say that this is like a Silent Hill vibe thing that they did here. Because this was stupid. Outrageously dumb. Uh, he could have brought us some jams, though. And uh, if he brought me some jams, maybe I would have been a little more, uh, I don't know, amenable to his general uh, situation and vibe. <sighs> but yeah, I feel like Berry Man, Berry NPC, how strange he is. He does. OK, here's the thing. He does come back. He comes back, uh, not, not in a way that makes it not stupid that he was here in the first place. Here's the thing. There's a, a fine line be between uncanny and stupid, and a lot of people don't know how to tread that line. And that was just fucking stupid in a way that made it seem like this is AI that's writing this scene. It's so bizarre. And I personally... I have a hard time believing that a human being wrote that scene. Maybe I'm wrong, but I really personally, I, I can't imagine that a sentient person wrote that and thought it was good or even funny in like a tongue in cheek way or anything. It's just bizarre, bad style, not in a Silent Hill style. Anyway, it keeps going. It keeps going. I'm going to go pee while this is happening because nothing, nothing happens in this. Nothing happens in this entire thing. All of Ascension. All of Ascension. Nothing happens. I don't know what's ascending. I don't know if we're ever going to find out what ascends in Silent Hill Ascension. But I, all I know is that I got to pee and that's the truth. You're sure about this? Yeah, I want to join. Did Rachel convince you? She tried playing nice and apologizing for everything that's happened. But no. Then why? Why now? <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired of running. And what are you running from? We can help you, Toby. How, uh, how does it work? Do I got to sacrifice a finger or something? We'll pair you with a mentor, someone to guide you through your initiation. Like Eric? Eric's still an initiate. He's just beginning his journey. You mean someone like Rachel? Everyone who walks through these doors begins a journey. We're about growth here. Given your history, it would be odd to choose Rachel, but it would show your commitment to growth here. Could you do it? You just seem like you really know what you're doing. I could. Yes. For now, read that over. Let me know your decision, and then we can get started.
Who's there? Oh, Carl. Ava? Are you okay? What the hell? What are you? Inside. Keep away from the windows. I'm not afraid of you! Sight. Oh my God. What I miss. What's going on? Oh, the berry man. No. Go call for help. What a shame. He had so much to live for. All those oh berries. No, 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 Look. No. All those berries he could have picked. Uh, terrible. Did you do all this? Oh, I got a pickle. Did you kill Ingrid? Quit the heart from her town. I'll let you hide on this farm. This no, yeah, sure. Tomb. Whatever, I, yeah. I should just drag you out to the woods. I'll leave you to the wolves. Hurt me more. There's part of me that thinks. Once. When I was little, if this was a normal a game, bunny out on the farm. maybe it could it have chops no and two little holes in its belly from a cat bite. I thought I'd get in trouble if I killed it. So I wrapped it in a rag and left it to bleed out. Cool. But I never went back to see if it actually died. Do you think it died, Carl? Wow. <laughs>
You could learn Chris from is her, always Richard. right. Now, about Toby's induction ceremony. If I may, I did have something in mind, Xavier. I'd like your daughter to be needle bearer for the ceremony. Oh, okay. Are you sure that's the best idea? Why wouldn't it be? Well, Eric and I aren't exactly on the greatest terms with Toby right now, and... Also, who are Eric you? An elder who's younger than me? Foundation. Do I really need to say anything here? I'll talk to Eric. Good. I'll have to bully Eric. And he'll do it because I bullied him. You shouldn't be here. See this? Too late. Rip, bury man. Works. Leia was right. Hello? An intruder has been badly injured on my property. It's the Johansson farm. Oh, Please we don't hurry. care. We hate you for some undisclosed reason. I'm telling you, they were right there. I, I don't understand it. I love the bad pacing of this because there was probably... Probably there was some sort of vote for... Oh no, you killed this guy. It seems like you killed a guy on your property. What do you do? Report it? Not report it? Uh, some other third option that is more culty, like use him for a ritual or something? And people voted like, oh, report it. And as a result, there's this big, obvious, like, cut really works. to this right. scene where the cop is there. Hello? An intruder has been badly injured on my property. It's the Johansson farm. Please hurry. Meanwhile, at the farm. You, right there. I, I don't understand it. There was blood all over the place. Carl, did you hurt someone? I... I don't know. Looks like our canine unit didn't come back with anything either. And one of our dogs is missing. Also, one of the canines is dead. As far as I can tell, nothing happened to your Carl. Just gonna throw that no, out there changes. for no You're reason. In touch with me. Yeah, okay, bye. Yeah, sure. See you later, bye. It's an honor yeah. to be a needle bearer, Eric. Bye. Especially at her age. If you applied yourself more, you'd know that. I just don't think this is the best thing for Faith right now. She's already scared, and sometimes the Foundation is, well, scary. Listen, you know I'll support you no matter what, but... No buts! My word is final on I'll this, I'll support Eric. you no matter what. Just boss me around and do whatever you say. Faith, honey? Do whatever you, you say! Playing in your uh. room? I got bored playing alone. Go back upstairs. Mommy and Daddy are talking. When I want to play hide and seek! I want mommy to play. How about I play with you? No, I want mommy. She never plays with me. She's always working at the foundation. Screaming and throwing a fit isn't how we get our way. That's what you do. Maybe if I yell and shout, I can get what I want too. Faith, honey. Play with me! That's it. Go upstairs to your room. You're in timeout, young lady. No! Faith! Say you're sorry. Now! Faith, come back here right now! <sighs> no. I'll talk to her. Faith? Are you down here? Are you over here? Faith? Oh, I was muted the whole time. That sucks. What a shame. What a shame. I was saying hit that bitch. You didn't miss much. Rocky Horror Energy. Papa. I was muted because I'm eating chips and stuff, so. 
Sorry, Angel. It's better than what I was. was. It's fine. I have her dress picked out upstairs. Speaking of which, did you find her ring? I want to make sure we have everything ready for her burial. Astrid, are you sure you want to bury it with her? She wanted you to have it. I know. It's just... The idea of wearing it... It doesn't feel right. What if I give it to Mette instead? Why would you want to no. do that? No! It belonged to her mother and her sister. It would be nice for her to have it if you don't want it. No, Papa. It would be weird if she wore it. So you don't want it, but Meta can't have it either? Yeah, at this Some moment, uh, her body is missing. Her body is missing at this moment. Detective, what can I do for you? Wow, wow. Um, I love that person in the background. Holy shit. For you. <laughs> We found your mother's remains. It is noted as uh, the word Keck in the uh, timeline there. Detective? They look great. That guy, the other person, they look great. And uh, it's Receiver of Wisdom, which is a fake name. Almost 100% a fake name from Silent Hill 4. And Scam of Hills. Bless them. What can I do for you? Incredible. We found your mother's remains, but there was a complication. I'm afraid Ingrid's body has been desecrated. What? Desecrated? How? How? By whom? How could this happen? And why? Astrid was right. I knew we couldn't trust you to come true for us. I'm sorry. I... Your apologies aren't going to fix what's been done. This is just another attack against this family. Well, hold your mother's body until you're ready to bury her. You can contact my office if you have any further questions. I'm sorry you're going through this. I could help with the funeral or your father. Why would you want to do that? I know you don't trust me, but I sincerely do want to help. Sincerely. We used to be so close, you and I. I'd like us to be again. I could handle contacting the other guests. Uh, da, da, ba, da, maybe I can put together some catering uh, for the reception. Uh, da, da, ba, ba, da, ba. <laughs> I was always a better cook uh, than my mother. Uh, da, ba, da, ba. I have enough to deal with managing Papa. I can't spend my days inventing things to make you feel helpful. Oh. Okay, then. I'll... I'll find something to keep myself busy. Okay, then. Orson, let's go figure out where to lay your grandma to rest. What? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What are you doing? Just looking through Ingrid's... What are you doing? Ingrid wanted Astrid to have it. That was my mother's ring. Mama wore it every day until she died. Even when she rolled Chutkaket for Sunday dinner, she never took it off. Ingrid never told me that story. Ingrid never did appreciate the honor of owning it. You said she wanted to give it to Astrid? Yes. Are you on the edge well, of your seat about this topic? It's wish. really incredibly Astrid intriguing it with her mother for some reason. isn't it i see well traditionally this ring has passed through our family to the eldest surviving woman that means it should go to you it was what my mother wanted i should get that Even when you're in a hurry, there's still time for personalized gifts. Personalizationmall.com will help you find... Uh, 
Our guest of honor. Come, join us, Toby. In the past, we had needle bearers for this ceremony. It should be a reminder of how often we must carry these burdens on our own, and how some of us can lack faith. The needle. Toby Sorelli wishes to join us and become part of the Foundation. We are the Foundation. We are the Foundation. None we are the foundation. The blight without a firm foundation. The blight. We are pure. Pure? If one should falter, the rest shall carry its weight. We, we are, are strong. strong. Though others walk in darkness, we bring light. We, we are, are truth. truth. Toby Sorelli, blighted acolyte. Who have you chosen to act as your guide? Rachel Hernandez. Toby has named you as his mentor. It is your duty to guide his travels down the path laid out for us by Paul Radcliffe. Is there any reason that might hinder this? Who request? is that? No. Then it shall be. Then all that remains is to sign your name into the Foundation Manifest. Who the hell is Paul Radcliffe? Prick your finger and add yourself among our number. Uh. Uh, uh. Toby Sorelli, welcome to the foundation. Never thought I'd see the day. Don't think this means I forgot what you said about Rachel. I want to help you get the most out of being with us. Sure. And I want you to know I... I really cared about your sister. Whatever her name was. I'd like to speak with Toby alone. I know it took a lot for you to join us. I'm sorry I didn't know your sister better. Joy. Joy. Right. Right. But Joy. But get to know her better through you. Right. I can tell you're a lot alike. What happened to her? She faced a lot of demons in her life. I think she was overcome with it. Look, I don't see how Rachel or Krista or anyone else at the Foundation is going to help me get what I want. Then why are you here? I want Rachel to answer for my sister's death. Revenge is what you want in this moment. But what is it you're really searching for, Toby? It's clear you care about your family and friends deeply. We can offer them safety. God, I'm so bored. They Jesus Christ, this is boring. You're not well liked here. Fuck. At Junction, are you? Have you wondered what it would be like to be loved and respected? Shut up. Admired? Shut up. How the hell would you do that? Shut the fuck You're up. A community, Toby. If you do something for us, we can do something for you. Like what? I need you to go to the steel mill. I can't go back there. The purifier lays a path for purifier. us. Purifier. Yours leads there. Sometimes we have to go back to go forward. It's Come not 1.5 speed. But what am I supposed to do there? I should put it back up. Light some candles. The purifier will make this clear. Now go. Bring me what you find there. 1.5. Here we go. I wanted to slow it down for some purpose earlier. This is clearly some other ass that they have for something else and they were just like well we have to put it into the plot because it's such a nice asset Toby Joy Toby what the hell Whoa. Whoa. Here comes a dumb guy shuffling towards you. Joy, please, make it stop. Joy, please. No, no. Observation boys saying they recognize the set from the grudge for their way. Is that actually true? Or are you fucking around? Oh, 
here he comes. My favorite, my favorite boy. I like him. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Credit where it's due. I'm trying to keep an open mind. Even even in this situation, I'm trying to keep an open mind. I do like the imagery of um the the farm tools. I don't hate that. It's like if your family is for some reason begrudged and you are a farmer family, this is very easy imagery to go for. All these pitchforks to indicate you are a farmer, but also you have a mob against you. Like there is something there. It's not going to pay off though, right? Like it's not likely to pay off. But I see a kernel there of of something. Those also appeared in the fountain in the middle of town when she went to the other world for for an instant there. Oh dear, are you okay? Oh hello, it's me, the the child protective services person. What are you? Hello. For a few hours. This is the time we agreed on. Bang! Bang! You're dead! Oh, oh, so stop saying you're dead! So your mama and I can talk. Are you going to write me up? Take this. Don't worry, it's homeopathic. You're clearly going through a lot, and this will help calm your nerves. I, uh... What? I you take pills that aren't prescribed. <laughs> you have a hard time accepting help, don't you? I'll... Let me think about it. I'm in the business of keeping families together, Astrid. Take it. It will help. Stop nagging oral pain now and get long-lasting oral pain relief with Aura Fucking what? Gave her drugs? Like, that's a normal thing for a CPS agent to do. Legitimate. What is this? I did what she wanted. Now you're gonna give me what I want, and then I'm done. I, I can't take this shit anymore. A blight fetish. Hey, did you hear me? I'm sorry, a blight fetish? I want Rachel's ass dragged in here, and I want her to pay for what she did to Joy. Rachel will be dealt with, I promise. No, no more of your cryptic bullshit, Xavier. This happens today, now. Xavier. Toby, have you ever wondered why your life turned out the way it has? No! Your sister. She had a hard life too, didn't she? And those people you worked with at the steel mill? The ones you got killed? I don't have to hear this. Toby, don't you see? It's you. You're the source of the withering. No. You are at the root the of the withering. That's destroyed. Is destroying this town. And that rot must be severed. This is just more foundation bullshit. Toby, if you don't do this, it will consume this town. And when it's done chewing Hope's Junction to the bone, it will spread like a disease to the entire world. I'm supposed to what? Sacrifice myself for the piece of shit people in this town? It's the only way. Not for me. Yes. Bye. Bye. I'll just leave. No one will stop me. Goodbye. I bet that's the plot of Stray Souls. That's not surprising whatsoever to me. She'd throw a fit. Well, it is last minute, so you'll need to decide which arrangement you want soon. What? What are my options for flowers again? Lilies, roses, or carnations. What was your mother's name? Oh. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Are you okay? I I'll call you back later. I think my cat is crying at the door. Let's see. I won't miss anything. I don't think you would either. Here's the best NPC in the game. Someone, one being a corpse. It's not even ya time. 
the next scene is yacht time because some of the scenes actually do progress between each other this one is one of them eh. Another big night for you, huh? Yeah, fuck you too. I already told you I was sorry for everything. I don't know what else you want from me, Joy. You won't let me leave. And if I stay, I'm supposed to off myself for a bunch of pricks I don't even care about. <laughs> what a shit deal. Maybe I should off Rachel instead. What do you think, Joy? A maiden sacrifice to get you to leave me the fuck alone? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Is someone there? We need help! Hello? We were mugged! Or attacked by something! <laughs> My friend is hurt! I think I need a doctor! <laughs> Let me take a look. <laughs> what is that? I... The I people know. love you, my child. J just stay back! You the people love you, my child. The your There's nothing you can do about <laughs> that. Uh... <laughs> just lay normal and you won't have to flail so much. <laughs> Doofus. <laughs> So I started off by sectioning my He hair. acts like I, I'm not like holding him normal. I am. <laughs> he just wiggles so damn hard. Ah, uh, where are we? We're at episode 23. We are so close to the end. Let's just fucking go. He's the source. We are so close to the end. Let's fucking go. Because I think we're up to episode, uh, like, uh, I think 25, 26 is the end, and we're up to 23. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you sooner. I had to bring him in to confirm my suspicions. I couldn't risk it. This means you can finally put your doubts to rest. It was Toby all along. And where is Toby now? If you are correct, and he's the source of the withering, he needs to be kept on a tight leash. He should be here. Withering! I have Chris to keep an eye on him. But you know just as I do that severing requires a willing severing. heart. Severing! Toby has to come to us on his own, which is why I need you to do something else for me. A willing heart must be free from attachment. And I worry Toby and Eric's friendship could become a problem. They've been friends a long time. All the way back to the steel mill days. And you're his wife. He trusts you. Rachel, look at me. Nothing else is more important right now. Stopping the withering is why the foundation exists. Xavier's right. Do whatever it takes. Tell Eric that Toby did something unforgivable or give him an ultimatum. An ultimatum? Toby, or you. You would have me risk my marriage for this? Whatever it takes. Yes, we're a cult. Of course we would. Yeah! No, you fucking apologize. Let's go back. A yod over the yaw. So let's... <laughs> let's go back. such a worthless, cowardly, indignant little brat for a daughter. I should have strangled you in your crib and saved myself the trouble! Oh, God! Yeah! 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 <laughs> okay. Ice Hotel! If I was a good daughter, I'd get Roses, her favorite. But the cheapest option is Lilies. She hated Lilies. My dad would be furious. Seems like a tedious detail with so much else going on. Why not let Orson pick? Funerals are for the living, after all. She does look like just lay Maxwell. Oh my god, her mom looks like her. No, I didn't think it was necessary. Yike. I really think it would have helped you. Well, I work in pharmaceuticals. I generally avoid meds that aren't prescribed to me by a doctor. I understand. You can't escape your blood. Everything okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Just a lot on my mind. I asked around about your family. What People you hate you. I wonder if there's more to work through than just which flowers to pick. 
Maybe it's really about what you want the last word to be to your mother. Some closure? I don't know if that's possible. It feels like whatever I say, I will just make someone angry. Oh? If I say nice things about her, my sister Britt will say I wasn't being radically authentic. The truth is, my mother was a monster. But would I be any better dragging her name through the mud at her own funeral? No one's a monster for speaking. I'm so bored. This is every conversation is so boring. Forgiveness only brings us peace if it's sincere. I don't have much experience with forgiveness or peace for that matter. Maybe it's time to find a little of both for yourself. <sighs> every conversation. Every conversation is so fucking boring. Wait, we're getting to the end. We're so close. We're so close. What's wrong? Just got off the phone with Helgen. They're releasing Ingrid's body. She's coming home. The desecrated but Okay. Here's the thing. Her body being missing seemed like an intrigue point. Right? And then, like, they just found it again and reported in, like, oh, it had been desecrated. And then they just have the body, and now they're releasing the body. And it's like, narratively, why was the body stolen? What, huh? It's not like there's been any, like... <sighs> breadcrumbs about who would hate this family and why it's just like trust us people hate this family and this would happen to them it's like what uh, i can't relate to that what do you mean like tell me why this is insane also yeah we're watching at a faster speed because god they are milking this to hell to worry about a thing i know what i'm going to do with this I think you should have it. What about Ostre? She's made it clear she doesn't want it. What about Ostre? Thank you. I regret. I regret that I never gave you a ring. What? I still think about you, you know. Ew. Ew. Me too. Ew. Maybe. Ew. Maybe ew. Ew. No. Ew. 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 No, ew, gross, no, don't, oh, ew, ew. Finally got Faith down. She made me read three foundation fairy tales to her. <laughs> she reminds me so much of you. Rich. I need to talk to you about Toby. <sighs> what did he do now? I, I don't think you should see him anymore. Wow, it's you another see? scene. <laughs> wow, it's the same scene we've seen five times of this bitch saying to this guy, you shouldn't see Toby anymore. <laughs> I don't like your friend. <laughs> How many times do we have to have this same scene of this guy being like, I don't like your friend. Better ditch your friend. And then he goes and his friend is just like, your wife is being manipulative and a bitch. And then he goes back to his wife being like, I don't know, I can't. I like my friend. <laughs> back and forth forever. <laughs> I don't understand. He was just inducted. Rich, Toby was the first friend I made when I moved to this country. Like where, yeah. Need you to trust me. I do, but where is this coming from? The cult! I I tell you more, but I can't. It's coming from so the please, cult. I just need you to trust me and stay away from him, okay? Where do you think it's coming from? Where do you think it's coming from? The cult. It's coming from the cult. Your wife is in a cult and you know that. You know it about her. What do you mean where is this coming from? Okay. Swear it. What? I want you to swear it, that you won't reach out to Toby. Swear on what? I need you to swear it, on something important. Promising isn't enough? No. Fine. Tell me and I'll do it. Swear on the life of our daughter. Rachel. <laughs> okay. I swear. Daddy? Daddy, are I'm you swearing out. on my soul? Daddy? Daddy, are you swearing on my eternal soul? Oh, guess what? Guess, guess where the, guess where this guy's at? Guess where he's at again? The bar. Guess where he's at? The bar. Again. Then I don't have the beer. My friend Eric over there, he'll pay it. If you're good for it, then pay it. Oh, come on. You know I'm good for it. Eric, over here. Looks like he has other plans. 
Why are we at like uh eighty percent scale with this room, bro? I can't be talking to you. What do you mean? Whatever trouble you're in, I can't help you. <laughs> Rachel make you tell me that? What? Just another day where Rachel's got you by the balls. Tells you who you can see, who you can talk to. I trust her. You're fucking pathetic, man. <laughs> <laughs> see you around, Toby. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Sure. It's me, your sister. Blood, revenge, etc. I'm so sorry for everything. I know. You could have stopped it though. My addiction, the accident at the mill, that you were always drunk. Those oh. people in this town died because of you. I know. Can I say it more explicitly? Anyway, I think episode 25 happened tonight, unless they don't do it on Sundays. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. I think perhaps that's the end. And you just have to stay tuned to find out the rest. What a shame. Uh, yeah, new episode tomorrow. Look forward to that. <sighs> what did we all learn? What did we all learn, everybody? Um, there's two distinct plots. One that is taking place in Norway for some reason, and one that is taking place in Hope's something, Pennsylvania, because Centralia is in Pennsylvania. So of course we're fully all in on Pennsylvania being an existent entity in the Silent Hill canon, even though it hasn't been beforehand, but... Uh, Thanks, Christoph Gans, for saying Centralia, Pennsylvania. Thank you for saying those two words together. You really did a service for everybody. Anyway. <laughs> I am the Berry Man. Yeah, Berry Man's the best part of this thing. I know everybody is... Everybody been tweeting about, yeah! From the old lady, everybody been tweeting about the little girl who is 30 years old and small slapping her mom. I feel like Berry Man is just like, this is the most strangest, stupidest, oddest, and most obvious to me, like AI style thing in this. Yeesh. It's gonna be more though. Samuel! Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby boy. How you doing? We we're just, uh, you know, wrapping up a little bit, but kind of just uh, talking through our emotions about the <laughs> Silent Hill Ascension, whatever the hell that is, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. And here's the Bloober Team apology back here for something, nothing, something, I don't know. But uh, yeesh, yeesh and yikes. So, yeah, there's two different plots. We've got the Norway plot, which has um, the dad and the daughter who has a sister we haven't seen, but there's like some drama with her. The daughter has a son named Orson. The daughter is Astrid. Astrid has a son named Orson, who is very clearly autism coded in a very uh, condescending, gross way that I don't like. And also, uh, the, uh, the dead lady, because, uh, the guy killed his wife, Ingrid, her sister, Meta, is also in the picture, and, uh, she's macking on the guy who killed his wife. I think Astrid did it, though. I think it's a little obvious that Astrid did it. But yeah, we're, we're 
dunking into the Silent Hill 2 bullshit territory there with just like, oh, my wife, she's dead. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I kill her? Oh, I don't know. Um, you know, probably not him, honestly. Almost certainly not him that did that. Uh, and that is basically the extent of the Norway plot. There's also a subplot in the Norway plot where Orson, the autistic kid, is, you know, being investigated by CPS. Is his mom taking care of him? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care at all. Also, like, the dad has an acquaintance that's like the daughter of a nearby neighbor and she's weird but he's like teaching her how to hunt and shoot a guy and they met a guy in the woods who's hunting berries and they shot him later because he looked like a monster they look like monsters to you they're doing that Eesh. uh and then the america plot is just so boring i can't even recap it it's so boring the most bare bones version i can tell you is uh this girl joy died in the hands of the cult and she was a drug addict and she has a brother who is very angry that she died obviously he's friends with a guy who is married to a major lady in the cult who killed her sister and he's like trying to grapple with getting revenge. Very like, not efficiently. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, none of the plots have anything to do with each other. Yeah, you know, sometimes he's a, he's Italian. Uh, he joined the cult, I think, to infiltrate the cult too, which is weird because. He joined the cult after he barged in on a ritual and literally threw a Molotov cocktail into the ritual and they were still amenable to him joining the cult, which is beyond insane. I can't believe they were okay with that. That makes no sense in any reality, even fictional realities where it's just like, hey, humans have motivations, right? Humans have memories, right? You can't just be like, oh, I forgive you th for throwing a Molotov cocktail into the cult ritual. Okay. Yeah, what's a little firebomb between cultists? Huh? I just, I just, I just, I just don't know. <sighs> That's the gist, though. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, there's a subplot with the the drunkard guy whose sister is dead. Uh, where yeah, there's a steel mill and he was for some reason, um, the guy who caused that to happen. Like the steel mill burned down, and a whole bunch of people died and like ruined the town. Which is very like we watched Twin Peaks season one and I think there was a wood bill in it and there was a fire and ooh, what if? So we're gonna put it in the game, I guess. Um yeah, steel, very flammable uh material. Um but yeah, it's insanely boring. This is insanely boring. Um Yeah. And also the Norway side of it is just, there's a nebulous, like this family that lives on a farm, everyone hates them for a absolutely undisclosed reason. And they will not say what it is. Maybe one day they will mention what the reason is that everyone hates this family. So much so that it was hard to find like a mortician or forensic pathologist to look at the body of someone from this family. That's how much people hate this family is that it was hard to find a fucking forensic pathologist to look at a corpse of the family. What did you do? You can't just like, there's gotta be some fucking hints about that. Like it's just unreasonable. It's not intrigue. It just sucks. There's a difference between intrigue and just like walling things off because you don't know why you're doing it. You know, 
This happens with like amnesia a lot in a lot of things, which is like, oh, my character is interesting because they have amnesia and it's just like, do you know why they have amnesia? Do you know their actual backstory or have you not figured it out yet? And we'll just maybe like 10 chapters in or something. Maybe we'll get a little linkling about it. I got a problem with that. But yeah, Genvid made this. Genvid is nobody. Of course they are. Konami don't spend money on anything if they can help it. But yeah, AI Seinfeld felt a little more authentic to the source material. I just, there are certain bits of this that just feel AI generated. Like the, these throwaway scenes where it's just like these petty little domestic disputes little disagreements little arguments between people but they don't have any weight to them and they just kind of have a very typical backy forthy to them they just feel really ai generated to me and i i would be super surprised if none of this was ai generated it just it's got a stink to it doesn't it i think it does anyway thanks for hanging out Thanks for listening to me rant about this. And uh, thanks for uh, watching me put on some dumbass um, makeup palettes. <laughs> Very goofy. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, YouTube. <sighs> and I guess we'll continue this some other time we got up to episode 24 25 so maybe we'll watch 25 to 50 in some amount of time look forward to it in the meantime listen to skull tenders my podcast that i give a big shit about and you should give a shit about too because you like me don't you you fucking asshole <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> do you think all the announced Silent Hill games will actually come out? Ooh, that's a good question. Mm. I think yes. Here's the thing. Here's the ones that were announced. Ascension. Haha. -ha. We're watching it now, so technically it's out. Will it be completed? jury's out i'm not sure if they're gonna actually you know get to the end of silent hill ascension or if they're going to out of shame stop airing it basically um they're not going to keep the servers up any longer than they absolutely fucking need to and that was us that's been a situation with a lot of things that were like games but they're streaming like nobody remembers hashtag war games sam barlow's cool joint you know how I feel about him, but uh, it's gone now. I bought that with money and it doesn't exist anymore. You fucking cock. I bought that. You dick? What the fuck? It's gone. It doesn't exist no more. Sorry, I'm being really New Yorky with my accent right now. But no, you cannot watch the old episodes of this. You cannot find this. It is gone and it also was supposed to have like a second season that just never got made there were supposed to be multiple like little mini seasons of it only the first one got made the second one never even happened because it didn't sell well enough and then everything got deleted from the servers you can't even it was stolen from me i bought that thing with money gone cool as fuck thanks sam and all your ilk uh not it's not exclusively his fault I'm positive it's not his fault but still uh right better uh anyway um <laughs> i have no idea where to get hashtag war games it's not complete crab meats it didn't get finished there's supposed to be a lot more to it than that you can find season one of it you can't find anything else of it because it didn't get made it's bullshit that sucks don't make things that aren't, like, don't release things that aren't finished that suck so bad. Ugh. I hate it. But, anyway, we'll find out if Silent Hill Ascension actually gets finished for real. And if it does, 
how long it actually exists and stays watchable on whatever servers exist to host those things? I really, I really don't know. We'll find out. Um, so I hold uh, Townfall. I feel like here's the ones I feel like are most likely to come out. Bloober Team Silent Hill 2 Remake, unfortunately, nightmarishly, is the most likely one to come out, even though we've had very few updates. So, <laughs> look at the background. Uh, it's the most likely to come out because they're very um, publicly, like, hype-wise invested in the series here. If it didn't came, come out, it would be pretty wild, right? It'd be pretty messed up and weird if it didn't come out at all. I think it's gonna come out, unfortunately. <laughs> I think that's the most uh, likely one to come out. I think the second most likely one to come out is Townfall. Given that Ascension is technically out. Sorry, bump the mic. Ascension is technically out already, technically. Then we've got uh, Bloober Team's SH2 remake. Unfucking fortunately, I think it's gonna come out because uh, God does not love me. So that's why it's coming out. But then we've got Townfall which is by the uh, like stories untold devs, which I think is has a decent possibility of being like fine, totally fine, totally doable. I liked stories untold. It had a bad ending that was too obvious, but that's fine. Also, I could not help but notice in the credits that Sam Barlow was a consultant, which is why the ending is bad. That's what I think, that's what I think. Sorry to be a little too paranoid there, but that's what I think. But that's what I think is going to happen. Townfall's most likely one to come out. And I think the least likely one to come out is Silent Hill F or Forte, which is what I call it because it sounds better than F, but it's a little F that you see in musical notation, the Forte. Um, I think Silent Hill Forte, which is what I call it, is the least likely one to come out because it is most likely to be the best one which is why it's the least likely to come out. Because God doesn't love me. That's why I don't think it's gonna come out. <laughs> I think that someone with actual vision, actual skill, narrative skill, emotionally narrative skill, I think it's just not the way that Silent Hill is, the way that Konami is, I don't think it's possible. Uh, of all the ones, that would be the one that would break my heart if it didn't come out, which is why it's the most likely one to not come out. In the same way that like PT was the perfect confluence of all these things. You know, Silent Hill's vibe and lore, plus Junji Ito's, like, mild monster influences, plus Kojima's, like, meta-narrative mysteries, plus Guillermo del Toro's, like, aesthetic, uh, and, like, just passionate interest in horror. Of course it couldn't be real. It was too good to be true. And that's why I don't think Forte. If there's one that doesn't come out, I don't think F will come out because it's too good to be true. Right? It's too, it's too good to be true. It's... I've been hurt so much in so long, folks. <laughs> that's why I've bought all these stupid Silent Hill makeup palettes because I'm dead inside. Completely and thoroughly dead inside. There's nothing that can hurt me now. Because I'm too... short up. The walls... are up. And I'm ready... to be disappointed by everything. Welcome to my sick and twisted world. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um... <laughs> Thanks for watching me put, put on makeup. I think I did mildly okay. Uh, thanks for your support. Uh, it helps us going on a pretty okay canvas, but I don't think I'm that great at the actual application of it. Um, thanks for giving a shit. I'll send you elsewhere, but thanks for hanging out.
I'll see you next time. I'll see you for other uh, stuff on my main channel. I think this is just gonna go on my other, my video essay channel that I'm not using right now because if I get a copyright strike on that, it'll probably be a little less detrimental than getting a copyright strike on the other one where there's thousands of videos. That makes me uh, sense, sense at a time. So that's my plan, I guess. Uh, see you around. And uh, watch Skull Tenders. That's my big thing that I'm making. And I give a big shit about. And uh, it's funny and Casey Green is in it from This Is Fine fame. What are you doing not listening to it? Casey Green's so damn funny. Uh, you love him. Just listen to him be a goofy owl in a D&D &D campaign. What, what do you have to lose? You got nothing to lose. It's going to be fun. You're going to love it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye, YouTube. I love you.